After driving people around in a limo for many years, I had zero dollars in the bank, so I decided to turn my life around and move on to better things. This is the challenge to become a millionaire. I rented out this camper for $4,000 for two days, two nights, and it came with a pickup truck, obviously, to pull it. So this is the setup I'm gonna be, oh, there's boss man, he's stuck in behind me. That thing's quiet. Boss man, you pulled out the shorts for this one. I did, man, do you like my fit? Nice yeah. and cozy. Looks good, and you rented this sucker out too? I did rent this out, Ooh. man. Check this out. Like, Ooh, that looks we're nice. gonna have, we're, we're having a fun day, man. This is impossible not to have fun with this thing. How, oh my goodness, that thing is huge. It is, it barely fits, well, honestly, it doesn't really fit on this trailer, but hey, I got strapped in, should hold for duration of our trip. Yeah, hopefully the sides don't buckle, that's pretty thin metal. Oh, it is, but hey, she's holding for now, and hopefully it will continue that way. But man, I gotta pay you some money. Yes, you owe me big money. Out. Let's get in here. Boss man, boss man, let's see it. Show me All the right. money. Here is 7,000. There you go. Wow. Okay, awesome. That's a, quite a few days piled up between the parking garage, all that kind of stuff. My Dairy Queen's been doing really good, so thank you very much. Boss man, I really don't know where we're going. Okay, okay, then let me get ahead okay, of you. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I think my setup looks awesome. It does, and I guess when we get there, you'll show me what you got in the back? Yes, yes, I brought some toys, that's for sure. Well, I think the plan is obviously set up the campers first, and then we're gonna go rip our toys that we brought. Do some dirt bike. I brought a dirt bike. I brought a uh, kind of weird side-by-side -side dune buggy thing, and obviously Boss Man bought... I don't know what he brought, but that thing is crazy. How's your RV pulling? My F-350, it's pulling good here. So far, pretty good. This is a Tiffin, so it's pretty powerful, but... Tiffin? I never heard of one of those. Is that fancy for something? Man, this is the uh, highest end you can get. Jeez, how much did it cost to rent? Man, th this thing... Did you thing... buy it? Oh, I, <laughs> I didn't buy this okay, thing. Okay, I wish okay. I bought it. I already have, like, the one at my place. I just wanted something different, you know? For sure. Test out something new. I understand. I understand. All right, man. Big climb. Can the Tiffin do it? I'm gonna... Oh. Oh, okay. Let's is try, this our let's turn? Try. I don't know, man. I'm so lost in these areas. All right. It's up I here. Think we have Floor. A bit more. Remember when we had that big accident on the hill? That's right. Yeah. It was icy. Oh, that was crazy. All right, we gotta switch back here. Swing wide, man. Swing wide. Holy miss, oh, it's the trees are fairly tight. Oh no, no way I'm making this. Yes, How you much are. Make this? Just swing wide. Hit your brakes. Slow down. Slow down. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let me do it first. You can kind of see what I'm doing. There you go. See. Okay, you you made it. Okay, nice. All right, so I'm thinking. Yeah, you should be able to make that. Just swing wide. Yep. It's it's going. All right. If it gets a little rainy down here, I don't know how you're going to get back out, but I'm thinking we aren't going to go any lower, and we're going to hang out right here at this watchtower. So, like, I know we're going camping, but this is more like glamping, right? Because, like, look at what we're driving. Like, this is excessive. We aren't intense today. Yeah, usually we're always intense, but, yeah, not today. Bossman, I'm going to back up right here. You kind of do the same thing. So you'll pull down the road, and then you'll back yep. up right next to me. Sounds good, man. See those backing up skills. But the only... I should probably unload my toys before, so you go ahead, see if you can make that turn. I kind of cut it short for you. Okay. We have, like, opposite loads. I got my front end really long and my back end short. You got your front end really short, your back end really long. All right, you don't need to swing that tight. There you go. I just wanted to, to clear it. We're good, we're good. It's great. They're scraping a little bit back there, man. You got it so low to the ground. Man, it, it adds some character, you know? The people that you rented from, did you ask if you can take it off-road? No. I, man, I'm pretty I spent sure five... you're supposed to ask, dude. When you spend this much money, they have to just allow it. Well, it's probably half a million dollar RV. Well, it's more like a million. But it's okay. It's okay. It's all good, man. Boss, man, what's going on? Um, I think I bottomed out. I thought this thing was a beast. Why didn't you just reverse it right off? That's a good question, man. I, I honestly should have, but I didn't. And now we're here. Here, let me push. Come on. Oh, it's hot back here. The exhaust. There's a oh, winch. Yeah. There's, you literally got a winch on the back. I didn't even see that. Oh, that thing would be helpful. All right. Just grab this winch. I'll hook it up to a tree. Oh, you have a winch in the front too. What the heck? Man, this thing wasn't cheap. All right. Go ahead and start winching. There you go. Winch, 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 winch. You got it. Yeah, you're good. You're oh, good. Yeah. You're good. Okay. Really? To start off, you have to go off a cliff? Look at that. Oh, we're plowing through some trees. Is it doing it? Yeah, it's doing it just fine. Watch the water at the bottom. Look at this side crawl action. It's a little low to the ground, which is surprising, but the suspension's really nice. Look at that. Oh, we're about to, oh, we might tip. Turn in. Man, you were good. You were gripping that ground. This is awesome. All right, got a little bit I'm of a pickle here. I am struggling a little. Oh, jeez. Hit oh, the brakes, hit oh, the brakes, I am. boss I man. Am. Oh, he's down, he's down. Boss man, boss man, are you okay? Man. Oh, boss man. Man. You good? Uh, I'm here, good, I'm, I'm good. I'm pushing Just... you over, I'm pushing you over. Come on, okay. come on, come on, come on. 
It w it's like an amusement park ride. We're good. Yeah, exactly. That's where you got a like, seatbelt. Is anything broken on here? Check, check, check. Should be good. I don't really care. Good. Oh, okay. Well, we'll find out soon. So, yeah, don't do what I did. I actually kind of bottomed this thing out, which is interesting. Been there, done that. Got those winches. There we go. Sidewall. We're coming down. Straight vertical. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I should get, get out of your way. Breaks. That thing's oh, a beast. Come through the water, man. It's all good. It's it's not too deep. Okay. There we go. And hey, we're back at work. It would be fun to see if our campers could go through that. Yeah, you think my camper is going to go through that? At the end of the day, let's take the campers through it just for fun. If they get stuck, it'll be hilarious. Well, I did buy my insurance, and I guess you have those tow trucks. Well, boss man, there's another crossing down here, but I'm thinking it's getting a little late. We should get some firewood, and then if you do want to take the cameras across, I, it's probably not worth it, though, in case we get stuck. No, man, we have to try it. We got a sharp right-hand turn here. Be careful. All right. And then there's the creep below. Yeah, you might yeah, bottom out on trees. that. Watch trees. Holy cow. Trees got to watch out for me. Oh, I'm sliding. Oh, the weight of the trailer. And do you want to know how you do these? You just reverse down. Oh, my, the weight of the trailer. I can't even get my tires. Dude, I'm going backwards down the whole thing. It's actually pretty smart. Now, some of you guys are going to be like, hey, these are meant to go off-road. Well, mine's a pickup, and there is actually an off-road, like, package to the trailer I'm pulling. It's lifted a couple more inches. But yeah, boss man stiffened. I totally agree. He's not supposed to take that off-road, but that's his doing. Hey, we got a water crossing. Jeez, this path is tough. Well, that's why we're going down it. All right, here Can't we go. Make it easy. We aren't even camping. We're just doing an off-road test. Okay, boss man, get out. Come look at this. Oh, what? Uh, yeah, heck? it's a double waterfall. It's, it looks really cool. I mean, there's a good spot to take some pictures. It's pretty deep, but it's Maybe not I deep should enough. Turn around. Oh, well, let's see if you can. Oh, do the it. camper went in. The full wheels were. Oh, we hit something. Stay to the left. Stay to the left. Okay, I'm going backwards. All Come right, on. boss man, oh, he's no. going. Oh yeah, no, he's spinning. Oh, no. He's spinning. He's spinning. I'm still moving. I'm still moving. Not that fast, but I'm moving. Your tire, your back tires are just spinning. Man, do, do you see me moving? You got, you are moving. Okay, there you go. You broke free. All right, looks good. I think we're almost at the bottom. Honestly, I think some of that crossing right there was tougher. We're dropping in. This is a steep drop in. You're probably going to bottom out. Look at the rear of my trailer. All right, we're going in. Oh, no. Floor it, floor it, floor it, floor it. We're spinning. That's deep. That is deep. Oh, no. That was painful to watch. How am I? Okay, I'm going to go straight down this. All right, I'm parking this. Let's okay, watch this boss, is... man. This is crazy. I, I made it through. I... I need as much speed as possible. All right, turn, turn, floor it. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh. That was a terrible oh, sound. Geez. We're good, we're good, we're good. Anyway, man, let's get this fire started. I'm ready for bed. Yeah, I am too, man. So uh, what are the sleeping arrangements? Are we, are we cuddling? No, get out of here. No, oh, okay, I got the whole okay. camera by myself. You have a, a million joke, dollar... It was a joke. It was a joke. We have a really cool project. Jeremiah's inside. I said, wait for me to bring everything in, then I'll show you to it. Blah, blah, blah. So it's really hard to describe, but we're going to be transforming a picnic table looking thing into a car. It'll all make sense when we're done, obviously. Uh, we have some wood there. We have radiators, crankcases, springs, all this kind of stuff. So we're going to unload it. And then I also got him. This is like his actual gift. Here's like a work slash like welding metal table for him. So he wanted a better table that could roll around in the shop. And there we go. What the heck? She said she was going to unload it. I guess this is one way to load it. And she's just heading out, I guess. All right, Jeremiah, quit looking at your employee of the year award. Come out here. Here it is, my man. Check it out. First off, this is a new table workbench for you. Rolls around on wheels. You can weld on it. It's metal, all that kind of stuff. And then here's the project I was talking about. The reason why I dropped this car off the other day is we're going to tear into it. It actually wasn't even supposed to be running. Good job getting it running. And then we're going to build this into a picnic slash car table so people can drive around, have lunch. It'll be cool. I'll send you all the info. There's a whole diagram of how to build it. So I got to return the skids here. You'll probably have it done by the time I'm back. Good luck, man. Well, let's get the Kubota loaded up. It was about, it was a little over five grand. So it was 5,200 bucks to go ahead and get the supplies. That car, Jeremiah is going to work pretty hard, but it'll be cool. It'll be really cool. You guys will see the finished product. He's going to turn that little European car into something awesome. Well, since I got some time to kill and wait for Jeremiah to finish up, I'm thinking we're going to stop over by Dairy Queen. Give me an ice cream cone real quick. Make sure all my workers are doing good and just see how everything's going, honestly. All right, it's not too busy right now. Only one car in line. Let's see what they got going. There, I got a large vanilla ice cream cone. <laughs> that is good. Well, I saw something in here. Jeremiah, what the heck is this? This looks awesome. Nice, man. That is cool. Good idea. Love the rims and tires. Jeez, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, it looks like you didn't take much. Okay, you took the frame from that car. Oh, nice. Your bench has turned out really good. Nice, you're using it. Awesome. 
Yeah, really good organ. You already put a vice on it, a bench grinder on it. Dude, that is awesome. Okay, nice. All right, I'll grab you Jimmy John's real quick, and then I'll get you some more. I think you deserve it. I'll get you some more stuff to fill up your toolbox. All right, I got some stuff here to pick up. Let's grab some of these cans. Jeremiah said he needed some oil for that thing. There we go. Some Rotella T6. That's always good. All right, we got the oil and the cans loaded up. And he wanted some more jack sands. I'm going to go run in and grab some more jack sands for him, and we'll get those loaded up too. Well, as, as I was looking for the jack stands, I actually bought a really nice drill press too. He was saying he always wanted one. There we go. It's in there. Make sure that thing doesn't tip over. All this stuff costs 850 bucks. I actually got a good deal on the drill press. It was 40% off at least. I think it was a good deal. Then I'll just grab him some lunch here. Jimmy John's is closed today. We'll just get him some sliced pizza. All right, boys. Diesel is not cheap. 150 bucks and then 10 bucks for the pizza. All right, Jeremiah. Let's see it. Fire it up. Oh, you're so, you, you don't want to find out you're more interested in what? Well, yeah. Hey, I got you some more gifts. You said you needed a couple jack stands, some oil, and I brought the drill press. So, oh, yeah, you need the oil to fire it up. Okay. Jeremiah, it's done. Let's fire up. This thing's quiet, and it fires up really easy. Okay, and just the pedal down here is go. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Check it out. So, Jeremiah, we're going to have lunch now on the go. Oh, this is cool. Feels like a go kart. And then on a cold day, the exhaust is right in front of you. So it'll just blow back on you, warm up your face. Well, guys, I'm going to take it for a rip here. Here we go. Pedal to the metal. It's not crazy quick. But again, it's using a lot of the parts off that old European car. That, that thing's top speed was like 30 mile an hour. All right. Lights are on. Sirens. Let's go. Where are we heading? We are going to head to the bridge. Just the nearby bridge. I oh, want to oh. set up a roadblock. All right. I'm going off road. I bet I can get there quicker. Okay. I'm almost there. All right. All right. Okay, you're almost there. Is there any word from the neighboring county? They've left the county. They're now leaving it to us. Oh, geez. Okay, and you think this is the guy that stole with the snowmobile and stole like that $2 million? Yeah, yeah, I think it's the same guy. It matches the vehicle description. Coming in. Any word on him? Any word on him? Nothing, nothing, but he should make it here soon based off the distance he was. What's the plan? Let's use spike strips. Spice? Okay, okay. Get you spike here. strips, man. Help me, help me, help me. Wait a second, they aren't in here. No, there aren't spike strips. Okay, screw it. The Tahoe's gonna be sacrificed. Okay, look, get your vehicle position too, man. Okay, there's somebody I'm is. Sure. Yep, yeah, I see him, I oh, see him. Oh no, no, that's the same guy, same red truck. Get out of the oh, way, no. get out of oh, the no. way. He's, he's not slowing down, he's not slowing oh, down. Biscuits oh, biscuits and gravy. Tahoe's down, he hit a pole, he hit a pole. All right, jump in, jump in. Dude, the Tahoe is totaled. Goodbye, Tahoe. Goodbye, oh, hopefully it's okay. He was a, he was a good car. Good. No, dude, it's totaled. It's done, diddly done. Jeremiah couldn't even fix that one. He's still cruising for a bruising, though. Where is he? Did you already lose him? I don't know. Were you paying attention? Well, I w I'm in your car. You're supposed to be I a co-pilot, a navigator. Come on. Yeah, well, press the pedal down. Maybe I can see it. something useful. I see him. I see there him. There he is. Good eye. Good eye, navigator. Spencer, turn around. No, I got it, man. Trust me. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't I know got these roads it, like the back of my head. Come on, make the creek. There he is. Okay. Three, you got back. lucky. I got intercept I intercepted him. I knew he was taking the back no, road. You got lucky. Remember where this is? Oh yeah, it's his it's his little cabin. Yeah, so this is the guy that took off on the on the snowmobile. We got the money back, but we didn't get him. He made it out on this truck. What do you think of oh. boss man? Can we pit him? I don't know. Those tires are so big. I feel like they're just going to drive over us. It's a monster like truck. Jeez. How do, okay. Uh. Well, what if we get the Jeep? What if we get the Jeep? Do you think you can drop me off or? No, he's going to be a goner. Oh, ah. Okay. Okay. Just gonna, stay on. Oh, there he is. Okay. We got okay. him. We got him. We got him. Oh, nope, what? He's still going. He landed it. A triple he's barrel roll. Man, oh. don't place your bets on a monster oh. truck. It will all win. Oh, my goodness. I am not going to pit maneuver him. We're going to get run over like a marshmallow. You run over your marshmallows? Yeah, I squash them. That's weird. They taste better. All right, okay. he's going off yep. road. Stick with him. Here we go. What's he going to do? What's he? Okay, he's going straight. He's going straight. Oh, Come he's on. Going he's back rolling around. again. He's rolling. Here we go. That's violent. Come on. Break, 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 break. Is he good? Oh, uh, no, man. He's getting out of that. He's getting out of that. Come yeah, on. he's out. Come he's on. out. Dang it, that pole. All right, dirtbag, we need some spike strips. We need to pop those tires. I bet they'd pop right away. All right, I'm doing well, I'm something. Hold on. I'm stuck in here. Okay, okay. I'm holding on. We're getting them. We're getting them. I'm drafted behind him. He's pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come no. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm getting squirrely. I'm getting squirrely. Oh, come on. There we go. All right, what is huh. he going to do? Left or right? Call it. Call it. Call it. Uh, right, 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 right. <laughs> come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I missed him. Watch the water. Watch the water. Oh, he hit a pole. You hit a pole. Freeze, okay. dirtbag. Freeze. Drive the car. Drive the car, boss man. I made it in with him. I'm fighting him. I'm fighting him. Get out of here, dirtbag. 
All right, boss man, I got control of the truck. I pushed him out. He's okay, on the, okay. He's on the loose. I'm not getting out. Here we go. Here we go. Chase him down. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm taking this him. baby. Man, help me out. I am. I got you, man. Watch out. Don't, don't, don't run him over. I'm not trying to run you over, too. Yo, this is definitely the same guy. Same outfit. Yep. He doesn't even get changed. How great. You got, oh, him. Okay. You got, I got him. him. I got him. I'm coming. Freeze, dirtbag. Hands up. There don't we go. Put your hands behind taser. you. Taser. Get on the ground. He's, he's resisting. Come on. Come on. There, there we, we go. go. We get got him. On him. Cuffed. That's what you can get, dirtbag. You risked so many lives today driving like a maniac. And because of that, we're taking your truck. It's now ours. Stop resisting. Hey, dirtbag. Freeze. Oh, okay. Taser, You're taser, really taser. Got him. Got him tased. Okay, I think he's done. Yep, that's Jeez, right. Okay. A little you electricity. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to get the cop car. You just wait with him. All right, I got him. All right, dirtbag. How does it feel? You almost had two million buckaroos the other day, but I caught you. Caught you red-handed, and you got no money. All right, move it or lose it, sister. Get in the back there. You're going downtown. All right, see you later. Boss man, I'll meet you back. Okay, sounds good. Well, let's take this back to the police station. I am going to have to tow back our Tahoe. That thing is totaled. I'll take it down to our shop, see if Jeremiah can do body work on it. Well, this thing is awesome. It's an F-350 power stroke, and it's souped up in every which way. It's actually a dually. I don't know where who the heck makes these tires, but these tires are huge. Lift kit, obviously, and it's a si oh, it has six doors. I didn't even realize that. One, two, three on this side, three on the other. That thing is sweet. All right, boss man, bag them and tag them. I'm going to go take the Mac Daddy. Help, help me get him in oh, there, man. I'm going to go get our towel. It's in the middle of the road. Can you not do both? Can you not come on, handle get out of here. Is he too much for you? All right, All right come with me. Get in there. Hit. Come on. Hit. Don't let me sick go. buster on you. He'll he'll chew you All up right, with your right in there. There you go. All right. We caught him. Nice. Good, Good work. work, man. All right. So you're going to go grab the tow truck, I'm assuming, to pull that Tahoe back yes, here? Yes. Yes. It's in the middle of the road. I want to bring it back, and it, I don't want to cause any more accidents, so... Honestly, just bring it down to uh, Jeremiah, because it's going to need to be fixed either way. Will do. Oh, no. It got wrapped up in a tree. I've seen that before. That's not looking too good. If you guys think about it, where the dog got it, it got hit like all the way up here, rocketed all the way back here. I think this is it for, I'll take her again. I'll take it down to Jeremiah and we'll see what we can do with this. This police car has about 280,000 miles on it. There we go. Let's winter, winter, winter. Once that front tire clears, I think it'll plop over real nice. Oh, it's getting caught up. There we go. Come on. And we're going to make it. It's rubbing on the tree. Fast winch. Perfect. All right, there we go. Let's head out. Let traffic go by real quick. And we're rolling. This is a tight turn for old Mac Daddy. It'll be good, though. It's kind of nice. I got the police lights on, plus my lights. Everybody should be going real slow. Well, we dropped off the car. Jeremiah's hitting the restroom real quick. He'll be out in a little bit. We'll see what Jeremiah can do. I gotta get back to work. It's been an extremely exciting morning. I don't know if anything can top it. I got like six hours left on my shift, so I, yeah, I gotta get back to work. And hopefully not another bake robbery happens. If it does, at least hopefully we catch him. Well, I'm done with my shift now, and I think I'm gonna do it. We just gotta be very careful that nobody sees us. All right, here we go upstairs. Let's get the money bag. Perfect. There it is. All right, let's get the money in the trunk. Here we go, and we just got to take it down to the bank. I decided to do the right thing. Thank you guys so much for commenting. Some of you guys said to actually keep it. I was kind of surprised. And then I was like, yep, the right thing to do. Take it back, and our hands will be clean. All right, let's get the money. Act nonchalant. Around back, they have a little deposit drawer that you can drop it in off. No big deal. There we go. And we're good. All right. Set it in there. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey. Steve. See, oh, good to see you here, Steve. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm good. Oh, where are you go? Why are you running so fast? No, I'm just walking. I gotta get, gotta return. I'm getting oh, done with oh, my shift. Whoa, Sorry. whoa, whoa! I, I saw you uh drop something off back there. Uh, what was that? What was it? Oh, nothing. It was just police investigation stuff. You know, confidential. You, you sure? You sure yep. about that? I, I thought I saw some some money. If if I'm not wrong. Uh, I don't know. It's it's classified information. Police only duty. I mean, I am an FBI informant now. Is that a the money I've been hearing was stolen or something? You're an FBI informant, huh? Um, yeah. It's none of your business, man. Keep it's, moving. Why do you keep running away from me? I thought we were friends. We aren't friends anymore. Okay, hold it. That was that was kind of hurtful. Okay, I gotta come true. Okay, don't say anything to your FBI friends. But that was the money I took it for a little bit that the robber got, and pretty much I brought it back. I didn't take any money from it. Just keep it on the DL, okay? I'm I'm not supposed to tell my FBI friends about stolen money. Uh, 
Borrowed money that was then returned and not taken from? Yes. Borrowed money. Oh, okay. And okay. I returned it. Sure. I just rented it for a little bit. Didn't do nothing. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Dang it. I thought we were going to get scot free. But no, Steve had to be sitting there and he's an FBI informant. I totally forgot about that. Oh, no, guys. I think we might be in a little bit of trouble. Well, today's going to be a good day. Another surprise for Jeremiah. We got a big surprise for him. And I think Boss Man's working on it right now. Whoa, 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 whoa. Steve, what the heck? Hey, how are you doing? Well, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, what the heck are you doing here? Sorry, I heard you were, uh, you need to do some work today? I have a big project. Uh, Who do you hear that from? Boss man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I all was right. just uh, wondering if I could, uh, help out. No, no, I don't want you to help. I got all this money tied up in this equipment. I can't have you wrecking it. Oh, money. You you have money, huh? Yes, so I, I, I have money. Is, I can't help out. Okay, okay, okay. You can help out. You can help out. Just don't tell anybody, all right? Don't tell them that, my secret. That, yeah, that, that's what I like to hear. All right, take, uh, take boss man's car. Beautiful. Yeah, take Bossman's car. I'm taking the semi. Meet me down. We got to pick up some equipment. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy day. But we're going to be getting some rental equipment here because we got a big project. Bossman's currently in an excavator tearing down Jeremiah's old shop or my old car used dealership. Jeremiah worked out of it and he was doing fantastic business that we're getting him a new shop. It's going to be his dedicated shop and I'll be the owner. No, it's not going to be a cheap project, but should make us money in the long run. Oh my goodness, what did they do to this place? Yeah, you. Re this used to be your old shop, man. I would be mad, but they did a really good job. They completely tore down your shop and, yeah, built this from the ground up. All right, I'm thinking you'll take the Raptor, so that, you know, thing with the big forestry mulcher on the front. Yep, that one right next to you. Go ahead and bring that. We'll load it up. Hopefully, we can fit all the equipment on here. I know we can pull it, but I don't know if we'll have the room for it. Well, there's only one way to find out. I like your logic, man. Yeah, we should be able to get her to fit. Looks good. Oh, slow her down. Remember, this is my rental stuff. So if we damage it, I gotta be paying those bills. Oh, don't worry. I know you have the money for that, so. Uh, I'm a little, I would have had more money, but not anymore. All right, we're heading out. This equipment, we're gonna be running it for quite a few days, possibly up to a whole entire week. This is gonna cost me $3,500 for this equipment. 3,500 bucks for this equipment. And then we're gonna head up there and I gotta get total numbers on the shop, but the shop is not gonna be cheap. These are some pretty hard climbs up the hill, jeez. All right, she's making it. That's a lot of weight, there we go. We crested the hill, now it's downhill from here. Oh, if you guys can see way off in the distance, it's already looking at quite a bit different. All right guys, we got a few days. I told Jeremiah, take a vacation. We need this place obviously demolished. Garrett, good job. Thank you, thank you. And when you say vacation, let's be honest here. I know you have him working at the Dairy Queen. <laughs> Smart, smart. Yes, he is the manager at the Dairy Queen when he's not working here, but he's not gonna be checking out this place. I told him not to come by for the next few days. We gotta get this place built up. We gotta get him a new shop. I want it graded out. We gotta move all this dirt, take out some trees. This is gonna be an A plus looking shop. So uh, I have a question. Yep. Um, just, you know, the elephant in the room here. What the heck is this guy doing here? He was at the police station. What, am I not welcome here? Not in my books. Why, are you guys actually friends now? Is this like a real thing that's going on? Kind of. What? Spencer just said I could come out and help. Spencer, Spencer, did he give you money or something? I know you love money. Uh, no. Did he, no, he's, he's not bribing you Somewhat like that, but no, no, no. What? No. Okay, okay. Steve, don't damage anything. Now, I know there's lots of rocks around. I didn't expect so many when I was digging stuff up. Yeah, but that's right. A lot of rubble and stuff. I'll start moving it with the skids here. All right, Steve, turn it on. Send hydraulics towards it. Bust up that rock, man. Let's go. He's a rookie. Yep, tip her down. Okay, you're yep, kind of getting it. All right, we're making pretty good progress so far. Trimming up some of these trees, getting the branches down, and then we're selling some of the wood. The logger's coming down. We just toss it down below, and he'll come with the semi truck, get it up and out of here. This thing's looking pretty good, but we still have lots ahead of us because we got to get the whole building made. I'm not going to turn on the camera till we get her done. You hear? Okay, but man, you got to start paying these bills in because you got to get all these supplies bought. I know, I know. It's not going to be cheap. Supplies are ordered. It was 25 grand out the window for just the supplies right now. Oh, and uh, you're paying me for working, right? Yep, five bucks a day. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do it. Move that semi. Oh, there it is. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. 
Look at that. Look at that. That looks good. Did I do it good? You, you like you like the doors? Did that was it beautiful. Magical? Is Jeremiah going to like the place? I think he's going to like it. Man, he better like this place. He spent a lot of money on this. It took a lot of time. Man, look at this lift. It's like triple the size. We didn't even have a lift before, no, did we? No, we had a few jacks and jack stands. That's about We just got him new jack stands actually the other day. Well, now he has this. Wow. Look at that. He's got a fan above it too when it gets warm. And then, man, you know what's even cooler? Have you been on this Storage? thing? Storage? Yeah, the old elevator. Yeah. Go yeah. For a Come ride. on here. Come with me, man. Team building. Here we go. That's awesome. Do you feel like a team? I do. It lifts us way to the top. Become millionaires. Okay, okay. Here, we go. Right. here we go. This wasn't cheap. So I had storage. to pay out another 70 grand. Huh? 95 grand. You... Yep. So you spent 75 plus 25. I spent 25, 75, 95. And here's 2,500 to you. Steve, where's Steve? All right, man. Here's 2,500 bucks for all your hard work. Oh, thank you. I really do appreciate it. Oh, Jeremiah. Come on in. Hey, he's jumping for joy. All right, man. Here, I guess don't come in. Come out. Obviously, the the old shop is gone and the new one is built. This is going to be your primary. You get one, two, you got five bays here. Everything is you, man. You've been working so hard, making me so much money. I'd buy this thing for you. Invested all the money you, you made for me pretty much. Put it right back into the building. So you're going to have a lot of work coming up. Get ready to put on those work pants. Boss, man, I'm nervous. You're nervous? You, you got, got this, man. You got those smelling salts? I got them. Are you ready? Yep. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Hey, you tighten those loose bolts? No. What? Why not? Duct tape. I believe I can fly. I believe I'm going to make it to the water. Hold on, Jeremiah. We're coming home. Go, go, come go. on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Land on it. Oh, we landed in the water, boss man. There we go. Radio wind. Good? Soft landing. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, man. First try, am I right? I believe. Oh, I'm short, boss man. Come on. We're going to make it. No, we aren't. We're short again. I'm short again. I'm short again. Oh, we, that one hurt. Here we go. I believe I can die. All right, boss man, your turn. Since when do I have to go in this thing? I'll give you my helmet. Don't worry. This thing's a death trap, man. No, I made it. Yeah, but that was just called luck. I got an insurance policy on you. See you later. Oh, he's short. He is short. That's not good. Man, I am done with this thing. That was fun, but I'm worn out, and it's just, it's too dangerous for me. Sounds I'm like worth I too won. much money. I won. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well. Yeah, okay, okay. You owe me some money. Let's see the money, and we gotta buy a house. You buying a house today? I okay, am. okay. Yep. You know what? You can explain all that soon enough. Here's your money, man. Come with me. All right, what do you want first? We got Dairy Queen money, we got parking garage money, and we got money from the police station and even from your shop. Let's do police pay first. What is it? Police pay, police pay. Okay, okay. Uh, it's the lowest one. Here's 5,000. That's the lowest? That's the lowest, man. Sick. Okay, so this is this is the money from all the past, this past month. So the yeah. first of the year. This is pretty awesome. All right, all right, all right. Let's see okay, the ice cream next. money. You just made yourself $12,000. Okay, that's pretty good. Last month, with the flood and everything and a few slowdowns, we only made eight. So money's coming Man, up. You, you lost money last month. Think of how many expenses probably, probably, you That had. was revenue. That was revenue. Fair enough. Okay, okay, okay. What, what do you want next? You're thinking parking garage? Yeah, yep. right? Ooh, 10000 There we go. This is Man. helping pay for that shop. I spent hundred grand last week on that baby. Speaking of the shop, get ready for this. Jeremy, as you know, Jeremiah's been working hard, right? Yeah, absolutely. You, you hire good and you'll get paid good. So here's 30,000. Jeez, he was working his booty off. Yeah, so that's obviously from a lot of time, but man, are you a millionaire yet or still a ways away? I'm still a ways away, but I actually got to spend some money today. Well, we got a lot of work to do, boss man. You can take that helmet off too. Well, if you guys remember, after the big flood, my buddy's house absolutely got destroyed. Got him a new car. He's getting back on his feet. He's got a job, mobile welding business, and we're going house shopping for him. So we're going to buy him a house. He deserves it. It's right up here, boss man. All right. Get it right. I'm, I'm funny, right? Uh, no, not really. Let's see how the DQ's uh -huh. doing. Hey, there's my buddy Jack. There's his truck. Wait, this is a guy we're literally yes, house yes, shopping Yes, for. yes, yes. Well, he's supporting my business when I don't even tell him to. And yes, we're going to get him a house. Oh, dude, that is awesome. So this is a new development. This is actually got hit pretty hard with the flood. And they fixed the issue. They built the levee back up. So this is not flood ground anymore. Just park on the side of the road. We'll walk it. Well, man, this is perfect. Doesn't your buddy literally work across the road here? Yes, yes. He works here. And then he has a mobile welding business that he's trying to, like, kind of start from scratch. So, yep. 
That is awesome. Okay, well, what's your budget? Like, are you just gonna see whatever you like the most? Or? Yeah, I know a couple. The one on the end, see that red roof? That thing's pricey, but yeah, we'll see what works. Okay. Yeah, all, all of these are for sale. Nice oh, wood floors. Already this is furnished. amazing. Huh. Ben, this is nicer than your house. Oh man, I found your bedroom. This isn't my bedroom. I do like clouds. Yeah, proving my point. What's the price? What does it say on the sign outside? Yep, it's for sale. Yeah, that is good. That's what we're looking for. No garage. No garage. He would like a garage because he's kind of, you know, a working man. Yep. Okay. Well, hey, we could keep looking but then. He could build one too. I'm buying him okay. a, a new house. Okay. Yeah, so okay. Let's keep looking. Yeah, this one, it's under 100 grand, so just keep that in mind. 10-4, this one's got a garage, a little small. Oh, geez, the garage is bigger than the house. This kind of reminds me of where you used to live. That's just right. obviously in a completely different spot. Yep, down in Goldcrest. Yeah, let's check out the garage first. Pop her open. It looks like there's two garages. Oh, and there's a back door. Oh, there's a wood-burning stove in here. That's awesome. Come over here, man. There's more, more garages. Oh, yeah. Comes with the toolbox snap-on. That's expensive. Plenty of garage space to source tools, and he's a simple guy. He's by himself, so I think he has a dog, maybe. But, you know, not a huge living area, and I don't think he needs it. This is a good option, and you get a view of the pond. Look at that. Yeah, well, that is nice. And it's close to Dairy Queen, so if he ever wants more ice cream. That's true, that's true. All right, I think this one's so, at the top of my list. Okay, okay, so out of those two, that's what you're leaning towards? I mean, they're both great, but garage for it's, sure. It is under 100 grand as well, so. 10-4. All right, this one looks... A little a bit older. older. Yeah, yep. But, but, hey, what's wrong with it being old? It's probably well built. That's true. They don't make them like they used to. Oh, it's a little dungeon-y in here. Um, check, check, check out in there. All right, I'm good. I'm heading out. No, 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 man, man, man. Check, check, check out in there. Do you see Whoa. what I... What is that? What? That is, uh, money. A lot of it. Yeah, okay. Uh, did they forget it? I, bro, I don't know. I That's his $100 bills, dude. Okay, 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 okay. Close the door, close yeah, the door. Close this the is door, probably a criminal door. who lives here. You don't want to see the bedroom or anything. Well, there could be more money Oh, uh, no, yeah. Check that duffel bag. Uh, 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 okay, uh, smelly. Okay, okay. nope, nope. Those are gym clothes. Nope, let's leave. I'm done, I'm done. What about the money, though? Well, if you want to investigate that, we can, but I, that gym bag just reeked. All right, this is the last one. By far the most expensive, but I would say the coolest exterior for sure, and it looks huge. Is there no garage? Yeah, no no garage. I guess you got to build now, one or something. He, it looks like this one has lots of land out back, so he could definitely build one. Wow. This is... I kind of want to live here, man. Yeah, this it's is nice. way too big for him. He does not need this square footage. All right, I'm taking that second one we looked at. Okay, so the one right at the end? Yep. You want to call a real estate agent and go yep. from there? Absolutely. Let's get her down here. All right, boss man, just got done talking with her. She said it's for sale. 65000 is the best the sellers can do. 65. Do you got that kind of cash? I do, I do. I guess today you made quite a bit of money. It pretty right. much pays that off. Did you find anything else around here that's like broken or anything we could try and lower the price on? There's no tools in the snap-on. I don't know if they were stolen or something, but hmm. it's empty. No, okay. And I asked her, is everything in the house staying? She said yes. So that box is worth a couple grand. Even empty? Even empty, yep. All right, boss man's heading out. See you later, man. Yep, have you paid the realtor? Yeah, I just did. It hurt a little bit, but it'll be good. All right, see you later. Minus 65 Gs, my buddy's on his way down. He says he's at Dairy Queen. I was like, yep, I saw you. Well, man, glad you appreciate it. Thanks for being at Dairy Queen, too. Appreciate the business. We're heading to Cobalt Hill, boss man. The deadliest hill in town. I just got a call. Some, like, three guys were walked over to Jeremiah's place, and they said their phones were broken, and they crashed and fell off a bridge. And he said it's heavy, heavy machinery. What the heck? A bridge. Okay. A bridge, yep. Why, Everybody's why, okay why, now. why are people bringing heavy machinery in that area? Like, I don't know. He is... said something about military vehicles. Oh, something, something, no. So we'll see. What? Biscuits and gravy, that isn't good. Uh, okay. Let's maybe drive down there. Well, guys, thinking to myself a little bit, looking at that big machinery down there, it does look like a military vehicle of some sort, some transportation semi-looking deal. And I don't know if we got the horsepower to do it. I don't know if we got the muscle. Man, these vehicles are bigger than our tow trucks. Yeah, each one that's getting transported. It looks deezed, man. I like this thing. Can we get one of them? What did you say? It looks deezed. What is like, deezed? Like, 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 like strong, like, like diesel fuel. Huh, never heard of okay, that. Just go with it, man. You know what? I got an idea. Leslie. Leslie the, Chow. No, 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 no. Yes. No, no, no. Let Why? Me, I'm going to call him up here. You hang out. Go talk Don't with them. Don't tell him I'm here. He hates me, man. All right, relax. Go up to Jeremiah. Talk with those guys. Let me let me know what they're saying. Okay. Well, it's been a couple of years since I talked to Leslie Chow. Let's give him a call here. 
He has Chow towing, so he's got some big old trucks we could borrow. Hey, Chow. Yep, this is Spence. How's it going, man? What is up, Spence? You doing good, huh? How are the kids? Chow, I don't have any kids. What, what are you talking about? Anyway, what I need is I need two big wrecker tow trucks. You got them? Yes, yes. Anything for you, Big Spence? Which ones do you need? Chow, honestly, the biggest I can get. We got a big recovery we got to do. Lots and lots of weight and kind of sketchy. All right, that works. I'll send you Big Hoss 1 and Big Hoss 2. You be safe, all right? Chow, love you. Kiss, kiss, hug, hug. All right, Chow, man. Yep. Talk to you later. Have a good one. Thanks. Toodaloo, Spencer. You have a good one. Peace out. Mr. Chow out. Well, we got him. Mr. Chow came in clutch. Hooked us up with two Western Star big time wreckers. These are 50 ton wreckers. So I think we have plenty of muscle now to do this. Just need to make sure we get proper leverage. I am kind of thinking that the trailer might be the heaviest part. And even if we flip over the front, the truck that's hooked up to the trailer, I don't think the trailer is coming with. It seems like that's the heaviest. So why don't we hook up the wreckers on this side, get the cables hooked up to one on the trailer, maybe two on the trailer, and have another, you know, snatch block to the truck as well and winch all at the same time. Okay, so we'll kind of be just turning it over here. Yeah, it's the only fear I have is it's going to come down hard and fast once we hit that tipping point. Let's, I guess, undo these straps and watch your head. Yeah, I get. Okay. Oh, I'm letting you do that. I'll see you okay. back here in the bushes. Stay back. Okay, here's one strap. I don't know how many it needs before it goes. Oh, oh there it is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're uh, good. then I'll. Nothing, nothing exploded, nothing. No, we're all we're good. good. Okay. I'll come around and just tow it out of there. There we go. Let's get her pulled. Got it spun around. That was fairly easy. And then it just flipped right back over. Watch Where out. It's going in the water. Oh, it's, geez. Okay, okay. Jump I'm in, jump in. in. Okay, I'm, I'm flooring it. I'm flooring it, man. Okay. Oh, I'm actually spinning a little bit. Jeez. Maybe I have to drop yeah, my man. third axle here. This thing is uh, heavy duty. I don't know what this is used for in the military, but clearly something important. Are you hitting the brakes back there or something? No, man. I'm trying to hit the gas. It's not doing much. Winch, winch, winch. Oh, she's moving. Okay, you don't winch. Stop winching, stop winching. I'm, I'm, I'm not winching, man. Okay. Uh, start winching, start winching, start okay, winching. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm starting. My plan is not working. Here it's we go. It's yes. working. Oh, yes. There we oh. go. Well, looks good. I think we got them both attached. Yeah. All right. There's only one thing to do now. Hey, make sure your boom is hanging over the bridge, man. I don't see your boom. I'm moving it as there we speak. There you go. Okay, I see it. I see it. All right. Let you me... ready? Slow winch. You yeah. You stay up there. I'll be down here. Does that work? Okay. Yep, that works. Three. So here, tighten your cable a little. Two. I'm going. Come on. Okay, here we go. It's now or never, man. If this is going to work, it's going to work. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. She's moving. Do you see this pole here? Yep. Look where our cables are. Why did we set up in this position? Supports are coming up. I repeat, supports are coming up. What? what? I'm flooring it. Biscuits and gravy. Oh, no. Oh, Come no. on, we got it. We got it. Hold on. Hurry up, boss, man. I'm getting closer to the edge. This isn't looking good for me. Has anyone ever told you you have no patience? Yeah. All right, big cat. What's your grand plan from here? Grand plan is to drag this thing over. This is what I don't understand. But if it works, I'll try and get out of your way here. It's got to keep pulling it over. I there we know. go. All right, I'll get in once I get... Oh, okay, there we go. Man, that was like so easy. Not too bad. Just took a few days. It almost cost me my life. What do you okay. mean it's not easy? Okay, you're exaggerating. It didn't take a few days. It didn't even take a full day. But yeah, maybe our lives were a little bit in jeopardy. It's okay. It's high risk, high reward. Well, this thing lost its brakes. I should probably be careful. This is Cobalt Hill. The hill that got too much speed on. The brakes got too hot and didn't work anymore. And then they obviously went off the bridge, blah, blah, blah. So... We're going to climb back up here and deliver it back to him. Yo, Spencer, open up. Oh, Steve, yeah, go ahead. It's unlocked, man. Come on in. I'm just cooking breakfast. Lovely. Well, what are you making? Uh, eggs. And then I'm going to have some peanut butter toast and banana. You want some? Yes, please. Here's a banana to tide oh. you over. It's, the eggs are almost done, man. What's up? Remember that money that, like, you, like, dropped off? Since I'm an FBI informant, I did have to tell the people You told the it. FBI? I said keep it on the down low. I, I'm sorry, but, like, that's not what I'm here to do. But the thing is, is that I actually stole the money after and they found out. Okay. So not only am I on the run again, but I'm bringing you down with me. And you are also on the run, just to let you know. What? What kind of early morning news is this? This is terrible news. We only have like, I don't know, maybe like 12 hours or so before like the cops really come to us. Okay. What's so your like, plan? Of course, just run as 
far away as I can. Uh, that's the. Plan. Where are you going? Could we sit no together? Idea. Maybe I'm I'm kind of a noob at this. First timer. Sure. Like yeah, you can come along for the ride for sure. Okay, let's get grab three bananas, some oranges. We're gonna get hungry. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Do you are you selling your? I guess you just kind of got out of prison dude i gotta sell my house i gotta sell i can't sell my house that'll take forever my mind's going a thousand miles an hour steve i'm gonna need some backup here i need some eyes in the back of my head that's you if you see any cops or fbi let me know i got you but don't worry after a while you kind of like develop a sixth sense and then like the adrenaline just feels so good well guys you heard steve the fbi is on us he says we have roughly 12 hours he he's the expert criminal i guess so my plan is sell everything Pocket as much cash as I can, put it in the bank under somebody else's name, or I gotta figure out how I'm gonna keep my money from the FBI taking it. Let's get this loaded up here, Steve. Let me know when I'm good. Spencer. Oh, you're all you, good. You're all what good. What are you doing, yeah, man? Perfect. All right, start strapping it down. Hey, boss man, how's it going, man? It's going good. What are you doing? I'm just getting these service down to Jeremiah. They need a couple oil changes. Thought I'd load them up. Hey, Steve, hang getting on. Getting like new tires or? No, just oil change, general maintenance and service. You sure they need them? I haven't seen any issues with them recently. Yeah, yeah, they probably do. Oh, hopefully they both fit on here. Yep, there we go. Fits. All right, strap them down, man. Hey, do you want to go inside real quick? I got to talk some business with you, all right? Uh, sure. It's okay. Hey, Buster, here's your last treat, man. I'll, I'll probably never see you again. Have a good one. All right, man. Yeah, you know how we were talking a couple weeks back that you wanted to sell the parking garage? Yeah. Are you down to sell it now? Yeah, but I kind of need to sell it, like, today. Why? Are you are you short on cash? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Yep. I'm kind of well, I guess you did you did spend, like, $100,000 on that building recently. Exactly. So, okay. Exactly. Okay. So, I need some money. You know how it is. So, I was thinking it's going to take a while to actually sell it to somebody together. What if I just sell you my... 50% of the parking garage and then I'm stuck with the whole thing. I want to get thing. it too. I'll give you a good deal, man Ah, okay. What do you think the parking garage is worth? You tell me what would you want to sell it for the whole thing? Mm, I gotta think of the numbers man. You're putting me on the spot here. Like what if okay here? What about this? What about this? I buy your share for a hundred thousand I, I can't do anything more than that cuz you know you put me in this position Great deal. quit talking shake on it oh, Let's see the money. Okay. Okay here. I, I, I can write a check one sec. All right. There's Perfect. the money Okay. All right, man. Yep. The parking garage is all yours. See you later. Uh, wait, are you okay, man? Yeah, hold everything's up, hold good. Hold up, hold up. What? Are you, are you good? You're, you're being weird today. No, no. I just, you know how it is. You know, short on money. All right. We're getting these unloaded. We came down here. So this tow truck is probably worth, especially I did some work to it and Jeremiah tuned it up, somewhere around thirty to 40000 But I'm going to try and sell them as a package deal to the equipment rental place. And they don't really deal with tow trucks all the time. Hey, man, one, one second. Can I, just give me one second. I got to talk with my partner here. Hey, Steve, I'm getting a call from the local businessman. I'm trying to sell my Dairy Queen. Can you just talk to him and kind of stall him? Oh, yeah, I got you. Let him know we'll be there in 15 minutes, all right? Okay, sounds good. Hey, ma'am, how's it going? Good to see you again. Yep, these are the two trucks I'm trying to sell. All right, ma'am, perfect. Thank you. Yep, that's how you spell my name. All right, Steve, I got him sold. What did he end up saying? Uh, he said he'd be there in like five minutes. All right, that works. Let's get down there. All right, 200K. Steve, what are you thinking? 200 sounds reasonable. 200 sounds reasonable. All right, shake on it. 200, let's see the money. Perfect, thank you. Here's the contract. Sign it right up here on the on the trailer deck. Yeah, don't don't ask me why I'm driving a semi. All right, man. Have a good one. Good luck with the DQ. Should do good. All right, Steve. 200K richer. Let's go. Let's move it. Let's move it. We got to head up to Jeremiah, and I got to finish some business with him. Hey, Jeremiah. Good to see you again, man. Looks like you're really working hard in here. All right. Well, I have some news that I can't fully share with you, but I'm going to be gone for a little bit, and I don't know when exactly I'm getting back. But don't worry. Don't worry. You're still going to be in charge of the whole shop. I'm actually, here is the deed to the land in the shop. Uh, yo, Spencer, like, we really got to get going now. Oh, geez. It's, it's, oh, it's four o'clock. That's not good. Uh, yeah. I have still got a few more errands to run and things to score away. What do you mean you still have a few errands to run? We only have like an hour or two left. I don't I even know. I can't be like, leaving people like Jeremiah behind. I, I, I just got to make sure I cross my T's, dot my eyes, and then I'm ready to go. Yeah, but the cops can be here literally at any time. Like what I said before was just an estimate. I'm not even sure. All right, Steve. If you got to do what you got to do, man. If you got to head out, I understand. I think it's time for us to part ways. I'll see you on the other side. Good luck. Here, take uh, take boss man's car. Oh, I'll gladly take boss, man. Jeremiah right. just got it finished. Boss man was supposed to pick it up today, man. All right, fire oh, up. snooze, you lose. Okay, let's go. Yep, don't be afraid to put some things in dead center. There we go. Steve is out. Good luck to Steve. I'm on my own right now. And Je I guess Jeremiah's kind of on his own now, but he got all that land, the nice shop. Well, I just got done from the bank handling some business. 
and we gotta fill up with diesel we got a long road ahead of us good thing i have two 100 gallon fuel tanks so we should be able to go for at least 1500 miles on this sucker hey boss man this is spencer how's it going it's going good where are you man i've been waiting for you my shift's almost done i can't tell you where i'm at right now i'll tell you once we hang up but here's the deal what? i'm gonna be gone for a little bit don't know when i'm getting back okay Wait, what do you mean gone? It's kind of over, pretty much. There's going to be some people. What's over? Hey, there's going to be some people that are going to come knocking. They're going to be in suits. They're going to be looking for me. Just say you don't know where I'm at. That's it. Man, I can help you. What did you, you do? You don't know anything, all right? I don't know anything. That's what I'm saying. Zip it. Wh Listen up. There's going to be okay. the company card I took from you. It's going to be underneath pump three at the gas station. That's pretty much it. That's all you need to know. Did you use the card? Yeah, I'm using it to fill up with diesel right now. I'm heading out of town. Man, let me meet you there. Let me meet you That's there. That's it. I'll, I'll come now. I'm, I'm on my way, done. man. I'm on my way. All right. See ya. It's on pump three. All right, guys. We're heading out of town before Boss Man gets here. Don't need to talk to him in person. I forgot to talk to my buddy Jack. I didn't tell him I'm leaving town. That's all right. Couldn't do everything, but <gasps> Boss Man's trying to call me. I'm going to just turn my phone off. That's probably best so they can't track it. Screw it. I'm just going to chuck it out the window. Well, guys, we came into town with the semi and the trailer, and we're leaving town. Got 200 gallons of diesel. Should be able to make it out. Good luck to Steve. Good luck to me. Hopefully, the FBI aren't on us. Oh, oh, I'm falling asleep. I need a Red Bull or something. My fuel gauge is... Oh, oh, my fuel light actually just came on. That means I have 10 gallons left. Already burnt 200 gallons, and I've been on the road for about a little under 18 hours. So, I'm thinking I'm going to head into town. I got to somehow ditch the semi because they're looking for it. Look at that. Hey man, my name's Mike. I'm looking, honestly, trade straight up for the Chevy Impala. This semi is at least, this whole semi setup with the trailer is at least worth 80 to 100 grand. So it's your lucky day, man. Shake on it. Pink slips, trade them. See you later. Well, I think that guy needs to pick up his jaw. Yeah, I think it's on the floor. He got a good deal. This thing's not worth as much as my semi and trailer, that's for sure. There we go. Okay, he's hitting the horn. Let's go. Let's go. So the reason why I came to Elk Mountain is there's mountains out here. And so I'm wanting to hide out in them for a few weeks. Lay low. The cops are on me. Didn't have too much trouble going down the interstate yet. Oh, no. Is that a cop? It's just a pickup truck. Oh, it's a cop. I see some lights. Slow it down. Slow it down. What's the speed limit? What's the speed limit? Oh, no, guys. We got lights on us. Lights on us. Okay. Uh, Blinker, blinker, blinker. This is the first time using the blinker in this thing. Actually, cool blinker. Okay, it's not. There's a little ball right there. Okay. All right, the brakes aren't the best in this thing. Oh, he's lighting me up. This isn't good. Okay. You know, the only thing I'm just thinking about it now, I did not change my clothes. Howdy, officer. I will see you later. Have a good one. All right, boys, let's head out of here. There's no way he didn't recognize me. He pulled me over for a reason, and I was going to show him my ID, and then he was going to know exactly who I am. So here we go. I made it 18, 18 and a half hours without getting caught, without even getting stopped, and then we switch cars, and he stops me. That's kind of crazy, but I actually think I missed my turn there. Dang it. All right, I got to pay a little better attention. Come on, boys. Let's get some drifts in here. Here he is. He's trying to box me in. Let's shake him, bake him. There we go. Let's get some donuts in this Chevy Impala. It's pretty quick. Okay, that wasn't the best move. Okay, let's head to town. I think I missed my turn. This is our turn. There's a, there a sign that said trails up ahead. There we go. This thing isn't the best on trails, but it floats like a Cadillac. Hopefully, it stings like a bee. Here we go. We're getting some separation. It's hard to control this thing once you get going too quick. The tires are not meant for this, man. These are like the white sidewall tires. Oh, these are just for looks. Here we go, boys. We're getting some air. Yeehaw! Oh, we hit that perfectly. All right, that was pretty cool. Okay, shortcut, shortcut. We're hanging right here. There we go. Well, oh, this is a lake. South Park, McKinsey South Park. I'm having trouble steering here. I think I got a flat. Yeah, I got a flat. Okay, we're ditching the car. Jump! There we go. All right, the car is in the water. All right, real quick. I used to swim back in high school. Let's swim across this thing, get some separation. It is surrounded by trees. All right, I've been hiking for two hours. I made it to the complete top. I've done this hike before, and I don't hear, see, no evidence, no signs of cops chasing me, no dogs barking at me. So I'm going to go figure out a spot to camp, hang out for few days at the very least here until I run out of food. I only got a can of beans. I'm trying to find somewhere, some dead wood around me to start a fire. Just a small fire in case they have a helicopter. They can see the smoke, see the flame, but then also very covered. So something somewhat flat. This seems pretty good. A lot of brush in here. Ooh, ooh. It was so cold last night. I couldn't, I couldn't find any dead wood. I didn't want to start a fire in case they were looking for me. I thought I heard a helicopter and, and possibly some dogs barking. So I just laid low in this bush. It wasn't too windy, so it wasn't terrible. Well, I've been walking for a couple of hours now. That is the mountain peak that I was at. I've been walking this gravel road, just staying on the high ground, ducking. The car comes by or 
could possibly be a cop, but I think here's my opportunity. Let's go see if I can hitch a ride with this guy. I think his car's broken down. All right, stay hidden. There's a lot of traffic through here. I took off my cowboy hat and my jacket that I'm sure the cop's gonna recognize me by. Kept my shades on. Hey, ma'am, you're having some vehicle issues? I could help with that. I used to be a mechanic. Ah, oh, looks like you're low on coolant. You might have a head gasket going bad or something. Yeah, it's overheating, I bet. Do you got any bottles of water or something? Okay, perfect. Grab some bottles of water. We'll, we're, we're just gonna need to fill it up. We can only go so far like this, though. Perfect. Yep. Give me, give me like four bottles of water. That'll be perfect. In case you break down on your way into town, I'll... Do you mind if I just ride with you? I would hate for you to get stuck again. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Happy to help. Yeah, I was, I was just on a walk. No big deal. Oh, thanks for driving me to the diner. So, the, yep, the used car dealership place, they work on cars all the time. Just back right into there. Thanks, Vanessa. Have a good one. I just had the idea. Let's head to this laundromat, see if they have some clothes that, you know, would fit me and I can just toss toss out my old stuff. Sometimes they have some clothes in the lost and found. Spencer, I know you're up there. Dang it, guys, they got me surrounded. It's the police. I heard them coming in. I found a trap door to get up to the roof. I'm hiding. Well, guys, I think this is it. The place is surrounded. It's time I give myself up, but I have one last request. Hey, boss man, you got a cell phone? I got a cell phone. You need to come down from there, man. I will. This is I will. Enough. Hey, I give up. I understand you got me surrounded. I just want that cell phone. I gotta make one call and I'll give up. Who is this pulling in? We have backup, man. Had a oh call. Oh my goodness. Reinforcements. Uncle Buck? Jake from State Farms, is this is how I thought I trained you in my academy? Is this what this has come to? No, you didn't, sir. I let you down. Yeah, you sure as heck did, except the fact that you're standing above me. Well, Get your hindquarters down I, here right now. I give up. I give up. Yes, yes, Sergeant Buck. Yeah, giving up's one thing. Getting down here's another, Sherlock. Get down here. Boss man, give me that cell phone. I gotta make no, one that's call. that's secretary. You can tell him he can have a cell phone when he comes down here. I gotta make one call and I'll what give up. What he said. All right, toss yeah. it up here. Yep. Nope, uh, you gotta come down here if you want it. I know how it works, man. I was a cop as well. Do not get short with me, mister. All right, boss man. Come on, hook me up. Thanks. Got it. Look, it's Steve. He's in jail too. Wait, you guys caught Steve already? Yeah, we did. He's in the back here. Steve! Steve, come out for a sec. Hello. Oh, Steve, they got you, huh? Okay, go back in. Wow, that's, did a you really, know? that's a really oh, interesting like phone call. Like hey, make a run for it, Steve. We'll both no. go. No, no. no, no come Steve, here. Come Steve, here. Steve, Steve. Oh, no, y'all okay. Don't, all don't make there. a run for it. Get okay. back in there. All right, guys, just all give right, me I'm a minute. I got to make a call. All right, guys, Sergeant Buck is here. This isn't good. I got to make one call to Chow, to Leslie Chow. If I can remember his number, I think it's 914-3568. Okay, got it, got it. Hey, Chow, listen up, listen up real quick. Stop what you're doing. I'm on a roof surrounded by the police and I'm going to jail. Spencer, Spencer, I never thought it would get to this point. What is up, man? If I were you, I would make a run for it. Prison? It's not worth it. I did five years, sold one too many chickens, and they caught me red-handed. Make a run for it. If they catch you, whatever, you just get another six months or something. But if you escape, you live with freedom. All right, Chow, thanks for the advice. I don't know, they got me surrounded. There's a fence around here, Sergeant Buck. He's here, very experienced officer. He's probably gonna get me. Well, good luck then, Spencer. Godspeed. And I wish you luck, okay? I see you on the other side. Toodaloo, Spencer, toodaloo. All right, boss man, here's your phone back. Ben, ah, oh, throw better next time. We're gonna, need, we're gonna need that for evidence. All right. Chase the call. All right, guys, I'm coming down the hatch. It, it takes a minute or two. It's kind of a weird stairwell. Just. I'm coming down. I'll come out the front door for you. Okay. Yeah, we got a trampoline down here. Why don't you just jump right off the I don't front? see no trampoline, man. That looks like a broken ankle waiting to happen. All right, All right I'll be make down. Make your way down. Don't try Makes anything. It easier. Here we go, guys. We're jumping. There's no good way to do it. Oh, that hurt. Okay, here we go. He's making a run, He's making a run for it. He's making a run for it. Going over the fence. Don't stop. Here we go. I made ah. it. There he is. There's Buck. Okay, okay. run, run, run. Ah. All right, guys, we got ahead of them. We got to figure out some sort of car. I hate to take somebody's car, but I got to do what I got to do. This probably isn't smart. Oh, no, guys. I don't know exactly where I'm at, but I think I got to make her a swim for it. Here we go. Spencer, we see you there. See you on the other side, boys. Try and catch me. I thought you had the place surrounded. It was pretty easy getting out. All right, I made it to this silo bin. I'm trying to think. We got to think of something. If I can't find a car, I'm going to try and hide out. Okay, let's get up here. Let's see what we got going. I don't see anything. Just open fields. We could maybe make it to the mountains. That's a ways out here. Oh, he's already here. Boss man's quick. All right, let's see if he sees us. He's right below us. Spencer, I see you oh, up there, man. You You're terrible at hiding. Get on down, man. I know you. I know what you do. I'm not coming up there. You're coming down, man. All right, I give up. Do you actually give up this time? I'm coming down. You better be. All right, you got there me. There we go. Against the wall, man. Cuff me. Against the wall. Against the wall. Hands are up. Face the wall. 
So, okay, ex- explain to me what exactly happened, because you're going to prison for a long time. So remember that guy that made it out on that big red dually truck, and he stole from that bank on a snowmobile and like a sled-looking thing? Yeah, yeah, speed up. I, I, I know that part. The FBI told me that one. Okay, well, there was like $2 million there, and I accidentally grabbed a $100,000 bag, fell out the back, and I might have taken I it home. I accidentally grabbed a $100,000 bag. Yeah, yeah, accidentally. Do you hear this, man, Buck? It fell out. Yeah, I do hear all right, Jacob, stay fine. Then, You're going to be right shotgun with me. Don't do anything. Oops. You have the right to remain silent, and anything you do or say can't affect you in the court of law. You have the right to attorney. If you do not have one, this court will appoint one to you. I have read you these rights. I probably don't know the rest of those rights, but do you understand those rights? Yes, sir. That hundred grand, I brought it back. So I didn't take it. That I doesn't it. matter. So you brought it back, but you still stole money, man. That's the bottom line. Get on in there. How do you steal something but bring it back? I'm done with you. Get on that in there, That don't make man. no sense. Right, I'm gonna go and borrow a car from a dealership for for three days, yep. and then I'm gonna bring it back. There you I go. don't tell them that I'm borrowing it. Is that still stealing? Yes. That's borrowing it. I'll meet you guys at the prison. This is a weird ride you got here. Is this is this all they could afford to give you? So they gave me for long try uh, long cross county trips. Got you. What kind of MPG you getting this baby? I don't even know because it's electric. Officer Secretary, we have uh, arrived on scene. All right, Spencer, get out. Steve, get on out. Am I still an officer in your eyes, Sergeant Buck? No, you're a crook. To get it into prison, you guys are going to have to work for it. You guys need to go swimming across the water here in your handcuffs. Good luck. What the heck is this place? I'm surrounded by a moat? Keep on walking. You'll see. Are there crocodiles in the water? This is where you go when you break every law in the book. Solitary confinement? Yes, sir. Close enough. Dang it. Best for the cops, or former cops, I should say. Why do we have a garage door on this one if we don't have any way to drive it out of here? Buck, stop talking. All right, boys. I'm, I'm Get asking on in the there. questions. Watch your head. There's some trees. Yeah, I like the... You got nice little overgrown plants in here, but... Yep, deal with it. Must be watering them pretty good. Mm, security cameras. Okay, I see how it works All right. there. Perfect. Both you guys, get in here. Spencer, did I tell you to go out there? Get back in okay, there. Geez. You guys going to wait there until we get your cells re- ready. All right, 10-4. All right, guys, your cells are ready. All right, 10-4. Yep, absolutely. Buck, get Spencer in his cell. You'll be in cell Steve, block A2. You'll be right here. The yes, other one sir. A1. Oh, we don't even get the same room together? That's kind of lame. No, you oh. don't. Stay in there. Doors are shutting. See you later, Steve. Bye. This is weird. They're looking right at me. I'm gonna look right at them. Buck and boss man. Port your cellmate, earn five bucks? Dang, you make a killing in here. Make some good money. All right, this is the bench. No pillows. Do I get pillows, blankets, anything? No, you're gonna be in here for 22 hours before you get out for a small little break. And then we're gonna get you right back in here. And you're gonna enjoy that. You like stealing money now, Mr. State Farm? I like borrowing it, yes. It's very nice and giving it back in full. But anyway, I'm gonna take a nap. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for... Catching me, I guess. Fuck. Who's the Did one that instructed you? Yeah, I checked his cell. Okay. You gotta remember, I'm still your superior, Mr. Secretary. Not in here, you ain't. <laughs> Wanna bet? That's boss man fight, for you. Fight, 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 Spencer, fight, Spencer, get fight. out of this. You need to Do just I need to throw you in talking. cell block A2 for assaulting an officer? Fight, 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 fight. Spencer, you're not helping Steve, here. start it. Fight, 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 fight. 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 I get right. paid enough to deal with you, boneheads. Ah, he's scared. He's scared. No worries. Okay, you guys stay here. We'll be back in a few hours. Don't try anything. Hey, Steve started the fight chant. Can I get five bucks? Goodbye. Just report your cellmate. Earn five bucks. Just kidding, Steve. I was just trying to make some money. I would have split it with you, man. Well, what the heck were you going to do with two and a half dollars? I don't know. You can add it up over time. I'll talk to you to, tomorrow, man. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm, I'm tired. I, yeah, <laughs> running away from cops is definitely an exhausting thing to do. Yeah, all right, see you, man. Oh, the door's opening. Good Bye morning. Boys, time. Let's go. Food, I'm starving. Nope, 6 a.m., you get to eat at 8. Let's do this. All right, where are we going, Sticking man? Sticking the schedule, boys. Heading for a little exercise. Hey, quit quit pushing me like that, man. I'm, I'm trying to follow hey, along. come over this way. Keep moving, guys, faster. I want to see you guys running here. I don't have to run under your authority. Not you. Hey, what That's is what that about? Get. That's you, what you, you get. want another year? How many years have I getting? Nobody told me nothing so far. We're deciding that today. I'm thinking three, but maybe after that you're getting four. Are you All a right. judge or something? You guys have a basketball. Now, if you throw it at each other, it's an extra two years. So don't do that. What if I throw it at you? That's an extra six, six years. What about me and Steve versus you and Buck? If we win, we get 
here, Scott Free, if you guys lose, no, no, you're in jail. Nothing. You guys are not getting out of jail, Scott Free. Not happening. Never, ever, ever. You know what, boys? Instead of playing basketball, give me some laps around this place. Let's go. <laughs> Run along the fence. <laughs> Spencer, you too. Come on. Get moving. <laughs> this will only oh, make I'm me stronger. I'm enjoying this. All right, Spencer, here's a granola bar. Time for us to figure out how many years you're going to be in this joint. Former Officer State Farm here. Colleague Officer Bossman here. Current has your current list of charges. If you would like to read that out, we can be uh, judging what the amount of time your sentence will be here on this precious island so officer uh boss man if you'd like to read those uh, alleged charges out on our prisoner here that'd be spectacular state farm are you listening yep you're being charged with one count of fleeing from the police one count of resisting arrest two counts of stealing money because we can charge you for twice because why not there's no proof and that's about it that's it Oh my God. What else can we charge him with? What people do you, what do you, part about this do you not understand is actually serious? You're going to lose every property you own. Do you realize this? Any bill you have, the bank's just going to start taking what you got. So, so I, I your own house, a house. Yeah, that house is going to be gone. Your shop, your cars, hey. everything. Yeah, yeah. Good luck with that. My shop's not in my name anymore. Sold my cars 12 hours before. Everything you own, besides for what, you're saying your house? You just got rid of last second. All right, I'm going to quit talking. Oh, my Atlanta. All right, we're going to keep that one in the books. Man. Members of the jury, All do right. you find this man guilty or not guilty? Yeah, I think we have reached guilty. a verdict. Guilty. All right, you're guilty. Get back in your cell. How many years Stay do I got? You will be charged on a spaces. You will have a four-year sentence. What? You will also be a having a $100,000 bond if you would like to pay that, if you would like to have an early leave. You know what? You guys are switching cells. Why? I like this cell. This Here. is my home now. See you, Steve. I like this. Oh, there's a picture of Boss Man right there. Well, today's the day. My last day, four years went by. So slow. And hopefully Buck's here any minute. He's going to let me out. Steve, today's my day. I'm getting out. Oh, my God. No way. Congratulations. Thank you. How, how much more time you got, man? Honestly, I don't even know what day it is anymore. <sighs> well, good luck, man. I'll see you on the other side. Jeez, morning, sleeping beauties. How are we doing this morning? I'm we doing... learned our lessons finally? Yes, we have. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, the good news is you're going to be getting out today, Spence, and, but we're not going to be doing your stuff, Mr. Steven, until tomorrow. So you're still going to be in here for another day. But you will be out of here by uh, about 5 o'clock this afternoon, Mr. Spencer. What? I thought I was what? getting out right now. You thought you were getting out right now? Well, well, right now we got a lot of bookings to go right through right now. We can't get everybody right now. Fair enough, fair enough. Yep, a couple more hours won't hurt. I hate to inform you of this, but your former colleague, Boss Man, has actually turned in his badge. He is no longer with the law enforcement. He will not be here. He will not be assisting you. He has moved out, and he's uh, just doing his own thing now. Well, we have your stuff. We have all your stuff over here in the main office lobby. We'll need you to sign some paperwork, and then where you are basically free to go as a free man. So here's your documentation. I need you to write down your information so we can get you cleared. Uh, your stuff will be right back there in the lockers, and then you can get your stuff and go. You're free to go, Sergeant Buck. I want to say thank you for treating me so good. It was a little rough at the beginning there, but over time, you were actually a nice corrections officer. I appreciate it. You're welcome, sir. People are still human beings. Even if they choose to do things, not the smartest, but you know, we, we all learn. We learn from our mistakes, and I hope that you learned about yours. I know this means you will never be able to basically uh, apply for an officer law enforcement position again, yep. but I hope you learned your lesson, and I hope I don't have to see you here doing this same thing again. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I served my time. feel like I did my time, and then I did. Uh, I'm a new man for it. That's good. Now get your keister out of here and get into the free world. Thank you. Can I give you a big no hug? problem, sir? Yes, sir. Come here. Oh, there you go. Now, don't do anything that I wouldn't do, all right? Like I said, I don't want to see you back in here. We're doing this same thing again. 10-4. Let's shake on it. Put her there. Yes, sir. All right, sir. We'll see you. I'll talk Have to you later. Day. Hey, can yep. I get a car or anything? Yeah, if you go back across the uh, the river on there, we actually have a vehicle for you ready to go. It's actually ready to, uh, if you wanted to start doing some business with it, go right ahead. Uh, we actually, uh, by the time, by what I've heard on my walkie is that we've sped up some of the process, so Steve is able to get out today. So we're going to do the same thing getting out with him, so if you kind of want to wait for him, we can get him out of there too, and you two can roll, roll together. 10-4. All right, Steve, water's a little cold, just swim fast. Don't worry, we're free mans. That's right. Congrats, man. We made it. 
Yeah, it feels good to be out. That was a long four years. Jeez. It was, but definitely not the worst prison I've ever been in. So No, they got nice later on. At, at first, they were a little rough on the edges, kind of pushed us around a bit. But these are our cars. Pretty impressive. Mercedes, what the? I've never even seen this before. It looks like it's got some sort of ramp deal. But anyway, I guess this is what we get. This is awesome. And I did a little uh, business transaction. Remember when we were making a run for it? You know, I had quite a bit of money. I was trying to make a million bucks and I sold all my cars, sold all my businesses, took that money, put it into a buddy's name in the bank. So it looked like I had nothing. They couldn't take anything. So I'm going to get that money. Oh, smart guy. Yeah, that's a good plan. Here we go. We got it. So this is the first night I slept in the car and I'm not going to do it again. I slept in prison for four years on a concrete bed and sleeping in this car was worse. Jeez. When I went and pulled the money out of the bank the other day, all the bankers were looking at me really weird. And I think I know why I am still in my orange jail jumpsuit. I've lived in it for four years, so I didn't think anything of it. There we go. We're out of the jumpsuit and I just got some basic clothes, pair of jeans, pair of sweatshirts. All right. Cross that off the list. Next thing on the to-do list, I'm heading down to that used car dealership. Do you remember four years ago, I came here with a semi that was wrapped in American graphic, had American wrap on it, trailer. It was a cab over it. And then you guys gave me, it was a Chevy Impala, I think. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for that. Really came in handy. And I, I now offer a towing service. So I have a bunch of experience towing vehicles, recovery, stuff like that. Just kind of get my feet back underneath me. And this is my tow vehicle. So obviously small cars only. I can't do big, heavy loads. But if you guys got any business, if you could let me know, give me a call. Here's my number. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it, man. You have a good one. Hey, man, don't don't call me for about 20, 30 minutes. I actually have to go get that phone. OK, so don't give me a call yet. There's a Verizon store. That's what's really cool about this town. They have a lot of cool buildings and then they have like strip malls into them and stuff. There's the fire station right there. Well, this is the first time I have a phone after four years. If you guys remember when I was on the chase, I threw it out the window and smashed it. So this is pretty nice to actually have a cell phone number and a phone and everything. But I was thinking while checking out in the store, like, what am I going to do? What's going to be my main job? So go ahead, comment below. I saw a sign that this gas station is looking for some people. And then I kind of thought after seeing the fire department, we could be a firefighter. Heck, we could walk people dogs let me know any job ideas that you guys have next thing on my to-do list grab some groceries just some non-perishables to eat out of the car obviously right now we're still living in the car so on my to-do list today is find somewhere to live that is the next important thing so whether i rent something buy something we gotta figure that out there we go i got a couple boxes of granola bar a couple gallons of water that all tied me over for a little bit oh get a phone call oh hey man yeah you got something to tell Okay, all right. Just text me the address. I'll be there as soon as possible. I'm in my, in my truck right now. Well, guys, that was our first job. We're actually going to go tow something. Sounds like somebody's car broke down, a very small vehicle. And my Mercedes tow truck, I don't even know what I call this, is going to work out perfect for it. All right, let's see if I can get backed up here. Is that a, it's a Mazda? It's kind of like a souped up car. Wait, that guy looks familiar. Wait, is that? Let's get unfolded here. Uh, hello, sir. No. You changed Spencer? a little bit. Not much. Spencer. What's up, man? What? I can't talk to you, man. I, I just... No. Hey. Why are you here, man? Why are, Why you, are you here? here? I'm working. I'm trying to get back on my feet. I got released yesterday. This is my car. It's broken down. Why did they call you? How did you... Can you leave town? Like, I don't want to live in the same town as you anymore. You did me dirty, man. I live in a car right now, man. I can't do too much. Well, then drive your butt away from here. I got, uh, I'm just getting my feet underneath me, Whatever. Man. As long as you know, we aren't friends anymore, man. You broke that friendship. Take my car away. I'll pay you, and that'll be that. You're the one that arrested me. What did I do? You betrayed the department. When we were trained by Buck, do you remember what he said? Yes. That you follow the law. And what did you not do? You're right. I didn't follow the law. Mm -hmm. And guess exactly. what happened after that? Four years and you in lied prison. To me. You lied to me. You stole my semi truck. Like, are we even going to talk about that one? That was 50 50, but sure. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll fold up those ramps there. That's about. This is the perfect. Oh, okay. She's a little heavier than I thought. Actually, here's my new number. There you go. So if you ever need anything, I'm you need more tow jobs. I'm not going to call that number. Hey, what are you doing here? Building a new house? Yeah. Um, it's none of your business, but yes, I am building a new house. Something to live in. Right now I'm living out this RV. I sold my old property and everything, so doing pretty good financially, but yeah, starting a new life and you're not part of it. All right, man, he paid me 250. How much do I get to keep? All right, I get 200. That's totally fair. You keep the 50. 
Thanks for dispatching me, man. If you got more cars to tell, just let me know. I'm always, I'm all ears, ready to help you. Now, the next big thing to figure out on my to-do list is to figure out a place to stay tonight. I do not want to sleep in my car again. This thing is tight, it's crammed, and so I am looking for something. And uh, since I got my new phone, I was on Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist. There are a few houses I could rent, but they were kind of expensive and out of the way. And I kind of want to stay in town. So, wait, I think I saw that on Craigslist. It was for sale slash for rent. Kind of interesting trailer here uh let's turn around here all right let's see is that yeah that's the same one yep parked right in front of tractor supply i thought it was right there i guess this is like a car hauler slash like a toy hauler whatever you want to call it but there must be some either living quarters right there or it's like a work area i think it's a work area but pretty cool it looks fairly new not too much rust on it and it's totally enclosed all right, I'm going to give that guy a call. See if he can come on down here and show me around. Well, he told me to grab my car, try and get hooked up, and we'll see if, first off, if I can even tow this thing with this bad boy. I guess I didn't really think about that, but I don't need to tow it across country, just somewhere to park. Yep, there we go. He's got it attached for me. All right, that works pretty good. She is squatting pretty hard, but I don't think I'll weigh it down any more than this. And then, do you have the keys to open up? I kind of want to see the inside there. There we go. Let's open the door. Nice. All right, he's got an air compressor, a welder, a ranger welder. So this will run like on fuel, on gas, and then you can weld on it. So you can be very mobile. All right, man, would you take nine, 9,000 for it? I know that's a bit under your price range, uh, under what you're asking for, but I'm just getting my feet underneath me. Don't got too much to spare. You'd meet at 10? Let's shake on it. I'd meet at 10, man. 10,000, let's do it. All right, there's some cash for you. All right, cool beans, man. Thank you. So I think I'm going to head into track fly, grab a, a few more things, a few necessities. Let's head in there, grab some stuff so I can sleep in there tonight. Spent a little more than I wanted to, about 350 bucks. I got a little buddy heater that runs off propane, a sleeping bag, a cot, and a pillow. And the guy said he was renting this spot from Tractor Supply so he could keep it here for another week. So he said I could technically live here for another week. Well, that was a much better night's sleep than sleeping in the car. Got everything cleaned up, put the cot, sleeping bag away. I'm going to go get breakfast, and I got a big to-do list today. We're going to start applying for a bunch of jobs because we got to get to work. Grayson's Gas Station, see if they got any specials this morning. I hear they have really good breakfast pizza, so maybe we'll see what they got inside. Well, that was a good breakfast. I need to head to the library, jump on one of their computers, print off some applications. All right, let's go and get those printed off. What's really interesting about this, there's a John Deere dealership here, and they have service in the back, and then also they're connected to CAT. So I got both applications for the CAT and John Deere service center. Well, Greg, thanks for the tour, man. I appreciate it, and here is my application as well. Well, thanks, Mike, for showing me around. There's my application and resume. Really appreciate it, man. I am, I'm probably looking for part-time, but if you have full-time positions too, wouldn't mind talking about that. So have a good one, Mike. Thanks, man. Hello, sir. Don't mean to bother you. I'm just honestly looking to drop off my application. You're looking for a job. Here's the application. I printed off online, filled it out, got all my information, then my resume. Jeez, you want me to drive a truck? You guys are really looking to get dad on some guys, huh? All right. Yeah, I could, I could kind of show you what I, what I'm made of. Let's see. All right, man, this is pretty cool. These guys are pretty chill. Okay, there's a lot of traffic. They're just letting me jump in a fire truck and take her for a spin. All right, let's go right. There's too much traffic going westbound. So honestly, fire station, work at the fire department might be my best bet because honestly, he seems like he, they really need new guys and they're, they're kind of scrounging to, to get everybody in the building. So this might be my best bet, guys. Wish me luck. All right, let's pull in. Got my lights on to tell everybody I'm pulling back into the station. I'm sure he wants to see me reverse in here. Which stall was I parked in? Oh, I kind of forget. I think it was right next to it. Uh, it was right here. I see the tire marks. There we go. Work on our backing up skills. Well, guys, that was awesome. Chief really liked me. I told him my police officer experience working at Silver Run Police Department. He'd love to hear that. And I think my best bet is honestly the fire department. That would be really good. They have good benefits and stuff like that. And then it sounds like you work like 12 hour shifts and then you got a couple days off, stuff like that. So it'd be good to do that. And then I could do another side hustle or some other business I could start up. Well, today's been good so far. I've applied to John Deere, Cat, the fire station, and then I have also applied to the pawn shop and I just applied to the tractor supply. So kind of felt bad. I was parked out in front of here. Thought I could maybe work part time there too. So we'll see. Now I'm just waiting to get some phone calls if anybody's interested in hiring me. And then from there, we can kind of keep growing. And obviously, I got my car here, so I keep doing tow jobs. Wait a second. That kind of looks like boss, man. What's up, man? Why are you everywhere that I am? Why are you everywhere that I am? This is where I live in the parking lot. What? Yeah, what you want to come you, check out my this, crib. Man, this is not a house. This is called tractor supply. This is where tractors come. Hence my tractor. Do you see that any I other tractors here? For. Yeah, they're just busy right now. No one's sleeping in here. 
Well, actually, I am. I just bought this trailer yesterday. First night I slept on it last night, and this is kind of where I'm hanging out. Don't have a place to, I mean, this is the place I live in, but, you know, just trying to get my feet back underneath me, man. Wow, your life has really gone downhill, hasn't it? Come with me. I'm not promising you anything. Don't get your hopes up with anything. Just come with me. You can ride in the little buddy seat. So anyways, I've been starting a little project, and by little, I mean big project, because everything I do is big, hence why I make so much money. Anyways, I've been starting a little farm. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, and we are looking, by we, I mean me, looking to hire some people. Just, I don't know if you kind of, you know, are, are up for the challenge, to say the very least. Absolutely, we trust man. reliable people that are on time, and I, I don't know if you check all those boxes. Well, I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm a new man now. Uh-huh. Okay, let me quickly drop something off. You just wait there. Whoa, you, you were driving that slingshot earlier. I saw this this morning. It, literally, you must be following me. There's no way you saw me you earlier today. You drove past the tractor again. supply around 9 a.m. I did. You're right. That is okay. I, I literally live at the tractor supply, and I was out running applications to people. I get, okay, you know what? You saw me. Whatever. Yes, this is mine. It's very nice. It's pretty cool. You mind slingshot. if I take it for a spin? Ah. Uh, Okay, fine, but if you scratch this thing, you owe me two of them. Well, do you guys think I should work with Bossman again? Honestly, I don't really hold a grudge for him. Seems like he does for me, and we're always really good friends, but, you know, should I kind of move on with my life and not work for Bossman? But it seems like he always has really good opportunities, and I like him, but he's kind of mad at me still. Let me know what you guys think. Like, we better get back here. Well, I made sure to get back on time. I was a little worried you'd call the cops on me for stealing your, stealing your car, even though I was just borrowing it. Okay, get it, get in my tractor. Now, I don't own too much land, but it is pretty close by, so it's a start. Absolutely, Got a little man. loan on it, you know, just trying to save money here, paying it off over the next couple years. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere. That's awesome. How many acres do you think it is, boss man? I think it's around 80 acres. Okay, nice. I'm not quite That's... sure, but it, it should be something like that. Maybe 90, depends on if you count the little patch of trees sure if you want to start planting then i'm gonna need some seed so do you want to go pick that up for me i can give you some cash for it yep absolutely i'll go grab some bags for you all right i'm hoping to plant some corn here okay perfect all right i'll go grab that all right sweet we got the pioneer corn seed to help me load it up got it strapped down let's head to boss man this feels like such a long time ago it would be four years ago since we you know kind of got into prison i used to help boss man all the time and stuff and now now we're back helping boss man i i wouldn't have thought this would ever happen what made you quit the police station i just lost all my motivation you know it was something we used to do together and you know obviously you're not going to ever be working there again so i just said you know what time to try something new hey boss man stop 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 is this your first time ever farming yeah is that not obvious there's two types of seeds in here somebody already planted this someone planted this before i bought it yeah you see how tight the rows are Oh. It was planted in alfalfa, it looks like, and you're putting in corn. So you really can't undo what you already did. I say you just pick her up and you'll use that corn for next year. Well, today's going to be a good day. I got a call late last night from the fire department. They want me to come in for a one-day training session, see if I got what it takes to be an Elk Mountain firefighter. So let's just head down the road and hopefully everything goes smooth today. Sounds like a lot of work. Uh, hello, S Steve. What is up, Steve? Good to see you, man. Yeah, how's it going? Long time no see. Yeah, n what are you doing in town? Oh, I just wanted to become a firefighter. I just thought that would be a fun thing to do. Okay, same. Uh, coincidence. And then, boss man, I didn't know you worked here. Hello, ladies. You guys are here. Nice to see you. Spencer, late as always. Yes, I'll be in charge of you two today, doing your training. Wow. Okay, why didn't you tell me you worked for the fire department? Because I didn't want to tell you. Any more questions? So you knew I was applying then the other day because you I, probably I saw my name did, in the system. Yep, yeah, yeah, exactly. I wasn't working that shift. I am the captain here, so you guys are going to be kind of just under me the whole time if you guys do make it through this training. Now, it's not going to be easy, so are you guys ready for this? I'm ready. Yes, sir. Here we go. Don't nice. get that thing stuck. I came at an angle, sir. It helps with clearance so I don't bottom out on that bumper. Uh-huh. I got to do some turns here, try and see how this thing maneuvers, because he said we're going to pull through a really tight area. Uh-oh, that, that was a little... Okay, we're good. He didn't see that. Hurry up, man. I ran here faster than you can drive. Sir, yeah. Holy biscuits. You are quick, sir. Captain. All right, slow it down. Slow it down, sir. Jeez. I got to be quick, just like you, man. There you go. Through there. Then you're going to be turning around and coming through this tunnel. Holy biscuits and gravy. That's a tight turn. That is the whole point. All right. That's true. The what streets... the heck are you doing? I'm turning around, sir. 
That is the least efficient way I've seen anyone do this. Well, you got the timer running. That. Keep going. Don't hit anything. Oh, it's tight in there. Coming down the ramp on the home stretch. All right, floor it, floor it, floor it. He is timing me. All right, bump the brakes. Where do I pull into? Same spot. All right. You're going to be backing up right where I had it before. I got a curb there, a couple of rocks, some boulders that fell. This is going to be a tight squeeze. Don't hit anything. I want it all the way back here. How am I doing on time, Captain? I can't tell you that. You'll find out your score is at the end. That was a uh, okay job, I'll say. Oh. I'll could have done better, I guess could have done worse, but let's see if Steve has anything uh, better to show us. So hop on in. Steve, swing wide, man, swing wide. He already took out the corner, that's not good. Steve, underneath, there you go. Oh, Steve! Okay. Hey, 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 come through this tunnel. Swing wide, Steve, swing wide. That was actually pretty good. Oh, jeez. Oh, Timer's still going, don't stop, don't stop. Holy Steve, smoke. Steve, keep her straight, buddy. There you go, there you go. Okay, a little too much. There you go, straighten her back out. Spencer, what are you doing over there? Oh, sorry. Were you helping him? I just thought to help a partner. No, you know? sir. Well, that was uh, interesting by both of you. Very different approaches. Spencer, what are you doing over there? I'm looking just... I don't care. Sorry. I, did I ask for an excuse? No, sir. No, I want you to say that you're going to be coming right back. The trick question. Okay. Well, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, uh, two very different approaches. I'd say both did a mediocre job at best. I'll have to give this one once again to Steve because I think just did a little bit better than you, what? Spencer. Do you think Captain's got something out for me? I feel like he's judging me a little harsh. No, I don't think so. I think I just did a better job, honestly. Your job to safely, as if they were people, living people, you're going to bring the hay bales back down to the ground where I am. Here we go. Just three points of contact. At least one foot on, two hands on the rails. Okay, got one. Got it. All right, bring it down. Here we go. Come on. This is pretty heavy. Do I hear complaining? No, sir. I'm just being careful. You're going to gently place it on the ground right here. Yes, sir. There you go. That was not at all gentle. That person would have smashed their head open. I just slipped. That's all. I'm sorry about that, sir. That sounds like an excuse. There you go, Steve. Grab it. Grab it. Go, go, go. What? Steve. Oh, no. What did you just do? Nothing. Okay. Um, well, again, two uh, very different approaches, I'd say. And now, you both get point. Now, I'll tell you why. Spencer, obviously, you did it in a cleaner run. But I will say, Steve... You did it faster. So, S let's say this one's tied. Sir. Yes? The hay bale fell from 10 stories up, sir. It was a creative approach. Again, he did it in a faster time. That's why you guys are both going to get points. I understand that would be quicker, but the person... Are you, are you again, like, I, sorry, remind, remind me, is, is this, what, what, what is going on so, here? Nothing. The next thing on the list is going to be practicing using handheld ladders. We use these ladders for all sorts of things. Okay, set it, set it. Oh, it's being a little weird. Oh, it's kind of crooked. Oh, well. All right, go, go, go. Oh, who Come moved on, man. my ladder? You need to get this thing in the ground. That is so dangerous. What if that happened on the call? That was all right, but of course, that one's going to Steve. Grab a chance out from the truck. Either side, there's someone both. Beat you guys here. You got to move a little quicker than that. Yeah, running with a chainsaw. Very smart, man. Each of you choose a tree and chop it down. I call this tree. I call this tree. I call this tree. I call this tree. I call I'm this already tree. working on it. All right, I'll get the other one. Steve's moving pretty quick. Keep it moving. Keep going, boys. Hey, he's got some branches still on his logs. Do I hear you snitching? No. All right. I think I beat Steve. I'm done, sir. Ah, uh, you think you beat Steve? Uh, yeah. Okay, both of you come with me. I need you guys to look at something here. Now, do you guys notice anything? Uh, there's my stump, and that's his stump down there. Hmm, so uh, here, let me see. I, I guess, you know, like, I'm pretty strong. Let me try picking up your stump. What? What is this? Sir, that is the back cut from my chainsaw. I did not know everything I'd that be is, picked up. That is called someone not following protocol. Obviously, this one is going to go to the person who actually finished the job. Oh. Once again, Steve. Come back with me. I'll give you guys the final scores. So, yeah, bring that with you when you edit. All right, good job. You guys have both finished what we have in this training course. How did you guys find today? Something you like to do? Yes, absolutely, sir. I want to be a firefighter. You guys both have passed. A 50 is a pass. So, uh, yeah, Spencer, you got lucky there. You, you, you made it, barely. So I want to offer both of you guys positions at the Mayberry, or should I say better known with our new name, the Wyoming Fire Department. Captain, thanks for the opportunity today. Excited to be a firefighter. 
Yep, good work, guys. Again, congratulations, and I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Oh, oh, geez, what is that? That woke me up. Oh, officer, officer, give me a second. I'll, I'm getting ready, sir. Geez, there's a cop outside. I just woke up, sleeping on the floor. Yep, officer, what can I help you with, man? Okay, I totally understand. Yes, I can get that for you. Just give me one second. Okay, guys, there was a little mishap. I owe the cop 600 bucks. There you go. Yep, absolutely. Well, I looked at my phone and I am late to get to work. But the whole reason the cop was there is when I went to buy my phone a couple days ago, when I got out of prison, I, I paid for it. I was in a hurry. I was applying to all the jobs. And I guess my transaction didn't go through and they were trying to stop me in the parking lot and I never saw them. So to the phone company, it seems like I stole the phone. Chief, chief, what's going on, man? Man, I'm your captain, not your chief. Oh, what yep. the heck? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm new to it. I'm new to this. Yeah, so where were you? Because the shift's over. I know, I know, I know. Uh, yes. Sorry, sir. I woke up a little late, and then I had an officer outside my... Okay, okay. Nope, I don't need to hear about what law you're breaking now. It was just a misunderstanding, but I'm mm -hmm. sorry I'm late, man. Yeah, okay. Well, can I sweep we're done here. Can I sweep the floor and wash any of the trucks for you? Man. Everything's done. It's on to the next shift now. I have some farm work to do if you want to come do that. But besides that, geez, yep. man, I just like first day, first day. I was driving the other day, got out to grab something to eat. And somebody just walking by was like, hey, man, if I had to call your your car or something, I would call it a tadpole. Do you agree with that? Honestly, I think that's a good name for it. it does look like a tadpole. All right. Turn in here. Yes, sir. This looks a heck of a lot more familiar. Oh, your alpha, alpha field grew really quick. It did. And as you can tell, uh, well, if you remember a little uh, mishap with the planting, uh, yeah. So we'll just pretend that didn't happen. So this thing does some like kind of mowing type thing. Yeah. And then there's like the tractor thingy that like pulls things like this thing that does like bail thingies. And then we have this like other thingy down here. Okay, you don't it, add like, ingy things. to everything and make it work. Yes, so that's the baler. Back there's the mower, and then this is a windrow. I owe you some money, man. What for? You well, okay. You bought those seed bags the other day. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, here's three hundred dollars. All right. I don't think I've ever ran a baler before. Is this how it works? I believe so. I did test it out a little bit before you got here. Make sure you turn it on. It doesn't look like it's on right it's now. It's on. She's spinning. There you go. I think the bales just kind of oh, go at flying. the back. There you go. Am I good to drive your car in the field? Uh, you should be. Just don't break it. Oh, Do you, th do you think this my is safe? Goodness. Tadpole. Is Tadpole okay? I think this is the shocks are going to get busted there. Yeah. Tadpole might be drowning here today. Oh, my. Jimmy yeah, Christmas. That's not good. I don't good. know One, if it's two, rated three. for this much. Wait. You have 18 of those bales on there, man. All right. We got this cattle gate thing here. Hopefully the tires don't pop. Oh, oh, it's rough. Oh, no. This is not a smooth ride. Okay. Uh, is it good on the right? I'm good on the left. I, I think you're good. I Yeah. All right. I oh, think you're good. Boss, man. Oh, wait, wait. There's a car. Wait, wait, I got a floor. I got a floor. Okay. Okay. Oh. There we go. He stopped. You said I was good on the right. It was calculated, man. I, I knew he was going to stop. I could just sense it. What if I give you... Let's think. Let's think. I did buy the equipment, but you did help quite a bit. 25%. That works. Yeah. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. That sold for $10,537. Really? What's 25% yeah, of that? Let me pull up my calculator. All right, you got 10,537. All right, I get $2,634.25, baby. Okay, let's just round it up to $2,635. So here you go. Oh, thank you. I get an extra few cents there, extra 75. Yeah. Two guys in a tadpole moving hay. They there don't we go. know what to say down oh. by the bay because I like to sway. Okay, you kind of fell apart there. There we go. Just throw that one up top, man. Strap her down. Oh, oh biscuits I dropped gravy. it. I'm just too strong, man. Look on the left. Oh, here comes a car cooking and bucking. All right, look on the right. We should be good to go. Oh, there's a cop. I didn't. Sorry, officer. I didn't see you. You were in my. Okay, let me get out of the road. All right, I'll back it up. I'll back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Hey, officer. Hate to ask this, but I got to be somewhere in like three minutes. I got to just sell this hay, man. Oh, you just wanted a picture. Okay, yeah. Three, two, one. All right, got it. There you go. Thank you, officer. I got to run. I got I to gotta sell this. Otherwise, I'm in trouble, man. All right. Yep, I'll be careful. Thank you. Actually, officer, block the road for me. All right, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Let's go. That officer was so cool. He was just laughing so hard, saying like, holy cow, you're crazy, man. And I, th I think I am a little crazy. All right, pull in here. They I got to get this sold. All right, here we go. Let's get her sold. Nice. There we go. Tadpole gets a little rock in there. 
All right, boss man, here's the money. I got it for you. All right, how much? Well, it was 9,200 total. And so I pulled out my calculator. I get 2,300, then you get 6,900. Oh, my head. It's in the gutter. Oh, what the heck just happened? Oh my goodness, he crashed his Mustang into the trailer. I was, I heard your tire screech, dude. I was, I sleep in here, man. Howdy, officer. Yeah, this is the driver right here. I was sleeping in this trailer, woke up to tire screeching. Next thing I know, I'm flying around in that thing, getting knocked around like a tumbleweed, man. Oh, Tadpole took a little bumper damage. The trailer got jackknifed so hard. What the heck? Oh, there's tire marks through the grass, so he must have been coming this way. Obviously, detectives and the police are going to do their work here, but oh my goodness. Well, the officer's heading out, and it sounds like that, that teenager boy is going with him, so I don't know exactly what it, I did. It is not my business. Oh, hey, Spencer. Steve, is that you, man? I got hit really hard in the head. Oh, man. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I was just seeing double. I, di I didn't expect you here. I just started up this tow truck business because I had to do something. Yeah, absolutely. You started up the business or you're working for him? Oh, I started this business. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Oh, is this your assistant? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, nice work, guys. That's awesome. That's pretty smart. You put the Mustang on the trailer, dude. Yeah, no no worries. My pleasure to do it anytime. What do you think? My trailer's probably totaled? Yeah, probably. All right, man. I'll let you guys get out of here. I got to go find a place to live, honestly. So I just got off the phone with Tim, my insurance guy. I had to pay the $1,000 deductible, which is understandable. And then they valued my trailer at $12,000. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I paid 10 grand for it. So actually, we're going to make a little bit of money, but this is a big headache for me, and I need to now go figure out somewhere to live. So pretty cool. A little bit of bumper damage on Tadpole, but that's totally fine. Good morning, man. I just woke up. Uh, Yeah, I woke up. Jeez, I woke up probably at 3 a.m. this morning to some oh, high no. school kid crashing his Mustang into my into my trailer. Oh, that's not good. Karma sucks, ain't it? Karma? What do you mean? What do I get karma for? Uh, we aren't going to get in all this again, but yeah, <coughs> stealing money. Anyways. I went to uh, prison okay. for four years. I feel like that pays back Okay, karma. okay. Are, are we going to keep going on okay. about this? Or You're the one who brought it up. On? Anyway, man, I am homeless, like officially, officially homeless. As you know... My neighbor's land's for sale, yeah. and I've been looking to buy it, but I don't really have all the money. Just like you know, just drop on that with all this or this stuff going on. Yeah. So what if we kind of just buy some of the land together, and you can I don't know, pitch up a tent or something, or maybe make you a little like shack or something to live in for a bit, and then yeah, you can just kind of live here. Do you know? So this canola is ready to harvest. Do you know about this? If we buy it, would we get the rights to farm it this fall? I'd assume so. Wait, Steve, is that you? Hey, uh, we're looking to buy some of this land. Do you want to come in with us? Uh, maybe all three of us pay for a third, a third, third a third? Or... Yes, yeah. please. Okay, what are your, your guys' budgets here? So third, I, I would be willing to put, I got 300 grand to spend. That's what I'm going to say. 300? Okay, Steve, are you up for that too? Or Yeah, uh, that could work for me for sure. But okay. Boss man, we're trying to buy this as cheap as possible. I'm of just course, saying I got course. that cash. Guys, remember too, like I, I have some farm equipment and this is a big field. So if we are able to harvest this, we'll right away get some of our money back. Yeah, that's the first question. Get in there. Get asking them those questions, man. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, Steve, let's check out this barn. Obviously, a little bit of low ceilings and stuff. Let's keep looking around. We could turn this into something, you know? Obviously, keep boss man's, you know, farm equipment and stuff if we want to start our own farm. I have some good news. I negotiated, and this is the best deal we're going to get. All of us have to drop 200000 which means we're only going to be spending 600000 here. You guys down? That works, we, yeah. We get the field, so we are allowed to harvest that, and we get this build in here. And come upstairs so I can show you guys... She has the rest. How many acres is it? I forgot to ask. It is around 80 acres, maybe 90 on a good day. You know, it just okay, depends how you can use it. For sure. Uh, that is, Steve, we're getting a good deal, man. Oh, 100%. We just got to put our three signatures on here and we're, we're owners. All right. Who's going first? I will. All right. I'll go next. And Steve, it's your turn. I'm best for last. All right, boys. It's ours. All right. 200 grand out the window. My pockets feel a little lighter, but... Boss man, first things first, let's get that baby harvested. Oh man, this thing eats through it. All right, there we go. Boss man's gonna be running the combine. We're gonna knock this out in no time. Obviously, boss man is not a very profitable farmer. Steve, we're gonna make good money off boss man. I'm very excited. The co-op closed, so we're gonna have to deliver this in the morning when they open back up. I'm curious how much money we make. I also got a call from Jeremiah while I was in the combine, forgot to tell you, and we're going to see him tomorrow. 
All right, I'm looking forward to that. Heading back to the old town. Well, actually, I think I'm just going to see him tomorrow. He didn't ask about you. Oh, can I not come? Probably not, man. Well, I slept way better in that RV. Jeez, that is nice and comfy. All right, what's your bet? How much are we going to make? 85000 Okay, remember, we're dividing this all by three. Okay, keep pulling. You want to jump out? Tell me when. This is my first time. Spencer, I don't think this is where we're supposed to be. I was just thinking about it, and there's no way this is where they want us to dump. There's not enough space. You're right. I was kind of thinking that, too, but they must be in the back. They didn't have any signs. Okay, here. Come around here. Yeah, this is much better. Way bigger. Oh, and we're out of the wind, so a nice... On, well, not nice days. On, on cold days, this will be nice to pull in here. Yes, sir. All right, your front should be good to start dumping. Can you see the monitor, how much we're making? Oh, man, we're making a lot of money. I don't know the exact amount, but it's just, it's climbing. It's going up quick. All right, man, total is $84,000. That's 28 grand each. Good work, man. All right, well, here's your 28 grand. Perfect, thank you. I was trying to think of what, what we can do with this land to make the most money possible. Obviously, farming is one option, and I've been thinking about that, but could we make more money? I mean, we spent a lot, and with the RV sitting there, I had the idea. What if we made, like, an RV, like, campground area? An RV campground? That's not a bad idea. That would be really cheap to start up. Yep. We already have the land. We just need to, what, place down some gravel on the ground here and... What else do we need? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, gravel. We'll, we'll need to run some power. And then eventually, if we want to do like full hookups, we have to do like sewer and all that. All right, man, I'm taking the tadpole. I'll see you later. All right, go get Jeremiah. Or see what he's up to. 10-4. Well, five hours later, we are here. Does this look familiar? There's the old, yeah, that's the old sawmill right there. Not much has changed there. A few piles obviously have moved. And then look here. That's the old hat. Well, they're all older now, but the, the houses that were for sale, all that stuff. And there's my buddy's place. Not much has changed there. And they're still working on that roller coaster there. And the Dairy Queen's right up here on the left. There it is. Not too busy right now. I actually think they would lower their hours. I would stop and grab an ice cream, but I it was a five, six hour drive. I need to keep moving. We got to meet Jeremiah. Wait, what the heck? There's a fence right there. All right, let's reverse out of here. I actually think this place might be closed. The forest looks a little more overgrown for sure, I'd say. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this, it's for sale. What in tarnation, it is for sale and there's a, it's fenced off. Oh my goodness, oh no, this place is going down hill oh my goodness well the lights are still on there somebody's paying the electricity bill let's see my path i made to my house it's all overgrown now i think it, the path to my house would have been yeah it would have been there's my house what the heck yeah it's all overgrown and that's one thing i couldn't sell i didn't have time to sell my house so i don't really know what happened to it here's the bridge right up ahead is cobalt hill up there here's the shop it looks great look at that he added some trees did some landscaping oh my goodness he did a great job. Look at that. That is awesome. That tractor. I wonder where he got that. All right. Let's not get in the way. It looks like they got a lot of customers, a lot of cars in and out. A lot of nice cars. Wow. See a Ferrari in there. Oh, there's Jeremiah. He's running the desk. Hey, Jeremiah. It's Spencer. You remember me? It's been four and a half years, man. Yeah, yeah. Dude, so good to see you again. Yeah, show me around the shop, man. The place looks great. Ferrari. A Rolls Royce. Dude, you are killing it. Pretty much my idea is if you want to try something new. I have a position available, Steve, Bossman, and I, we all got back together, bought some land. We're kind of starting from scratch, honestly. If you want to come back, help out, I have so many jobs you could do. All right, guys, it's a done deal. Jeremiah's coming back. This is awesome. Well, this morning, we're going to be pretty busy, and I have some bad news for Bossman. So I was going to get them a coffee and maybe a breakfast sandwich. Oh, look at that. They use car dealership. They got a new car out there for sale. Okay, let's pull in to the diner real quick. They have super good breakfast. I'm going to get the boys a cup of coffee, breakfast sandwich. Should put a smile on their face this morning. Well, when I was waiting for my food in there, I was thinking about this truck. I'm going to see what it's listed for sale because Boss Man has been wanting a pickup truck. He kind of sold all his stuff. What is that price on the sticker? 55,000 bucks. It's a tilt-down trailer. You got two of the hydraulic cylinders there. Locks into place. This is pretty slick. Could you meet me down at 50, man? I would appreciate it if you came down a little bit. Let's do 51,000. Shake on it. All right, you got a deal, man. Let's get those paper going. I got all cash. Cool beans. There we go. That was easy. Could you ever see yourself driving one of these? Man, for sure I could. Can I take it down around the lot? Like well, guess what? Look at that name on the keys. Uh, no way. It's yours, man. It's yours. What? Here's a spare Thank key. You. Yep. Here's the paperwork. Wait, it's in your name. What is this for? This is for starting a new friendship. All right. 
trying to buy me over. No, well, let me no, say, no. it works. Well, okay, perfect. Uh, well, unfold the tadpole, baby. It's not broken down. And boss man, it came with a trailer too. Man, that's gonna be so good at the farm. Well, I got some bad news with some good news. Obviously, got you oh, the new truck. No. But my phone is blowing up. I put a listing online on Facebook Marketplace that we had ten open camping spots, and people are coming what? tonight. What do you mean ten open? Like, we have uh, people are coming with zero. RVs and campers to pretty much park at on our land. Okay, we need to get to work then. Yeah. Because, yeah, we have uh, nothing ready. Like, I guess another vehicle could park here, but that's about it. Get in your pickup truck. Go pick up skids here I have rented. And then, yeah, we got to get to work. Okay, I'll head out now. It's a thousand bucks to rent it for three days. There you go. There's the cash. Thank you. All right, pick her All up. All right, see you soon. All right, boss man's a little better in the skid steer than I am, so he's going to run it, scrape off some topsoil, get it as level as we can, and then I already called the dump truck company, and they are hauling in a few, quite a few tons. Yep, that's them. They just texted. They're on their way, boss man, so get working. Okay. We're getting uh, three or four truck, big old dump truck loads. Oh, oh Steve, geez. be careful. I just sent him the bill. 2,000 buckaroos. That's not fun. Well, the dump truck just came in, dropped off a load. We already spread a bit. There we go. Oh, Steve. Well, Spencer, get on my way, bro. S sorry, man. I said, what's up? I got a call about a fire. I got to get okay. out of here. Go, 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 go. I'll make sure the coast is clear. Things are turning out really good, boss man. We got four spots put in. I think they're plenty. And those guys are starting to trench in electrical and sewer, and they're getting all the permits and everything. So I think we should be ready to go here soon. Yeah, man. These are way harder to make than I was thinking, but they're looking pretty good. I'm trying to make these, you know, as strong as possible so we don't have to do more work in the future, but absolutely yeah you're, you're doing good getting this place expanded and it's looking clean yeah it's really hard to like decide what the heck we're gonna do because first off we don't know how business is gonna be how much we're gonna rent out and then in the future obviously we're gonna expand if things go good so decision making is kind of tough but we're getting it done yeah guys i'm thinking we're gonna go 50 foot in with the electrical and then hang a right same with the sewer those plans sound pretty good to me oh there's there's steve oh biscuits and this is what we knocked out building took us a little bit of work but this is a shed we got down we got electricity running to it water all that kind of stuff so the construction workers put in sewer water and electricity and we took Spencer, out Spencer. Oh, somebody's trying to pull uh, in that's an rv all hello right. here here guide hey, him hey he's, man he's you gotta swing a little wider is this your first time Oh, jeez. He's just pulling We're going to have in. lots of customers like this. Yeah, it might be the first time. That's a tiffin. That thing ain't cheap. It's more than mine. All right, man. Yeah, just park in that stall right there. Okay, whatever one you want, honestly, just put her in there. All right, man. We got water, electricity, and sewer hookups. Go ahead, hook up. If you got any issues, here's the number. Feel free to contact us, and uh, there'll be somebody on, on the grounds at all times. Nice. That looks really good, boss man. Thank you. Got two basketballs pumped up, ready to go. Oh, oh, howdy, ma'am. Yeah, that's a big truck you got all in there. Jeez, the Earth Roamer? That's awesome. For six nights, is going to be 300 Thank you very much. If you need anything, here's a number. We're happy to help you. All right, boss man, second customer, six nights. Wow. Jeez, and how are we uh, sharing this revenue? There's three of us here. You just keeping this all? I'll or? keep it now, and I'll divide it later, but... Mm-hmm. What totally. boss man, we might have to use your get your RV out of here if somebody else shows up. We're gonna be full. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Well we always can put it back to where it was, but this is a good start, man. Well, Jeremiah and I just picked up a pallet of furniture for Boss Man's new house. He says it's complete, and I'm gonna go drop it off for him. Alright, let's set this box down here for him. We'll just set it right here. The farm is looking good. So this is the first alfalfa field that we harvested. And then I got a mower ready to go for Jeremiah on our second alfalfa field, so we should be able to make some good money. Hey, Hey boss man jump in the car with me what's up man we're gonna go check out your house have you seen it yet i've not been to my house no did you get that furniture pallet for me yeah jeremiah and i dropped it off it was pretty heavy but let's go check out your house there she is straight ahead that is not what i told them to build it's not no it's not like the building or the color everything what the heck is this man this is not a house uh oh did you send him the right blueprints or something I'm starting to think not. Let's check this thing out. Well, it has really nice garage doors. This looks like Steve. Remember Steve had that workshop and he, like before he got in trouble for stealing all the cars, like this place? This looks pretty much identical to that. Maybe a bit smaller. I think I sent them the blueprints from his old place. I think you're right. Because this is, this is where his office would have been. Well, I got an idea. Here she is. This is my idea, boss man. What if we build you a house right here? Uh, what? Build me a house here. You own the land, right? Okay, I just paid for a house. I can't buy a whole, like, okay. I have lots of money, but man, that's that's a little excessive. A whole nother house? 
It's going to take months to build. What if, what if we build it? Here we go, Timber, you're downhill, man. Get out of the way. Why would you, don't drop it on our trucks. Well. This is a brand new baby. Tadpole would be able to handle it, but probably not your truck. Timber. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right, big hoss, turn and burn. Let's see that Cummins roar. Boss, man, we forgot to strap a log. What? Yeah, the top one. We did throw ratchet straps over it. Uh-oh. Oh, it's falling. Okay, she's down. All right, let me pull off and grab it. All right, big hoss, I'm good to go. All right, you got her back on there? Yes, sir. You're going to be doing most of the framing. You have a lot of experience, you know, framing, building houses out of wood. Look at this. Jeremiah's tearing it up. Yes, sir. Looks like he's finishing up right now. It's time to get these turned into bales. In order to make some bales, we got to take the wood off our stuff, and then that way we can load the bales on the trailer, the tadpole. Where do you want to build the house? I'm thinking let's build it right, I don't know, maybe right here? Uh, boss man? What's up? The tadpole is, is not up anymore. It's actually sinking into the ground. Go, go, go. There we go. You got it? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I'm going. Go, Four go, miles go. An hour. Man, it's, it's it's keeping it. There we go. It's selling. Oh, boss, man. Hang on. How oh, much? Oh, I should have worn a helmet. That sold for 14 grand. Here we go. We got a lot of bales on here. Let's get them sold. All right, unstrap. They're selling. Jeez, that's a lot. We got $34,000 total. Divide that by three. So I got 11,300. I got to dish out the 11,300 to boss man. And then Steve, they sent an automatic payment to him. Spencer. Yeah. Guess what? Chicken butt. Chicken butt. Oh, uh, nah, I I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, here. Come with me. Come with me. Turn around. Okay. Okay. Turn, Wait, turn around. around. What? In tarnation? Yes, sir. Check this out. Wow. It's an hour and a half and you built this. Yes, sir. This is like a tiny house. This is simple living, man. And it's like luxurious. Super clean. Yeah, I tried having a bit of a smaller house than in the past. Here's my bathroom. If you Beautiful. ever need to take a shower. A little tight in here for my liking, but I mean, I would take it. Just not two people. Here, I'm going to scare him. Let's knock on the back window. I think this is to his bathroom. So if he's on the toilet, this is going to be funny. Hey, man, what the heck? Hey, open up. Freeze. Oh, uh, I don't want intruders in my house. What was that for, man? That scared me. I gotcha. Nah, I was just seeing how you slept, and then we gotta go buy a skid steer. There you go. Thank you. So this skid steer is two years old, 1,500 hours, and, you know, we bought everything for 60000 I think that's a pretty good deal. Jumped on it right away. Hey, boss man, I was just thinking last night, where's Buster? That's a good question. I'm surprised you didn't ask until now. Well, I can actually show you. Here, turn into the, my so-called post shed shenanigan right here or dominium shouse whatever yeah whatever people call it nowadays honestly kind of forgot about buster i had so much chaotic stuff going on then obviously i was in prison for four years oh there's buster he doesn't really recognize me boss man yeah well he's probably upset with you you've been gone for so long where's his food bowl let's let's feed, okay here's his place let's feed him a little bit he might remember me because i always fed him here we go buster eat eat good boy what kind of how dog house is this boss man it's a basic one. It's what they were selling at Walgreens. I mean, it looks kind of nice, but Buster deserves more than that. He's a growing boy. All right, ma'am. How many nights are you staying? Go ahead. Sign the sheet right here. Yep. It's just a waiver form. Perfect. Okay. Vanessa. Yep. You're going to stay. Oh, five nights. Perfect. And we did up rate up our rates a little bit. So it is $100 a night now. Okay. $500. Perfect. Thank you. And then you got water, electricity, and sewer hookups. Hey, man. When's that gravel coming in you ordered? It should be here within the next 30 or so minutes. Okay, well, somebody came in and we got all the spots filled up. Unless you want to move your RV, we nobody can come in now. Well, okay, if a customer comes right now, then yeah, I'll, I'll move my okay. RV. But Where have you been the last 30 came. minutes? I've been looking for you. Well, he dropped the kids off at the pool and then I built the doghouse. Oh, jeez. Yeah, do you nice. like this one? Is it, is it more to your liking? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Buster, here's your new place. I think he likes it. Now, the only issue with this is the sign that it came with they wrote this weird name on it. Dottie? Dottie? I guess. Dottie? Like, what is that name? What a terrible dog. Well, name. just erase that and we can write Buster or just leave it blank. They, but... they, that's the thing. They engraved it in there. Like, we're going to have to get a whole new sign. So I'll, I'll get that and we'll, we'll draw it in chalk or something. All right. They dropped off a truckload of gravel here. Boss man, go ahead and start smoothing it out. While boss man spreading that rock, I put in the light. This is going to work really good for at nighttime when people are pulling in late at night. They know where we're at. I want to get some sort of sign eventually too, but that's down the road. Let's go check in how Boss Man's doing. Buster, he's getting used to the area and he's doing good. Hey, 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 this looks good. Man, this took a while. I am done driving a skid steer for the next month. 
Yeah, you look a little tired. Your eyes are strained. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six new spots, man. That's awesome. Yeah, so we are up to 10, which is plenty of spots. And then I think, man, I don't know about you, but next time we make spots, I'm thinking we do some interior storage. Okay. Wait, what do you mean? Like, I want to have some really nice, like, luxury spots for really nice RVs, uh, the really, like, high-paying customers. Okay. And you know, we charge, like, I don't know, something like 300 a night or something. One guy I talked to was like, hey, are you guys going to have spots where I can park for the winter time? Which is kind of an interesting question. And something we could do long-term storage where we charge them, like, 30, 50 bucks a month. And they just literally park it on just a gravel lot. And it's free money, pretty much. Yeah, like, no hookups or anything. Exactly. Just just yeah, park it and leave. Simple. Yep. I am so tired. I stayed up all last night searching Craigslist Facebook Marketplace for a truck, and I'm buying one. Boss man, what's the plan today? I just cracked the Red Bull. I'm fired up. All right, man. We have a busy one. So you got your work boots on? You're ready, ready to go? Yes, sir. All right. First things first, uh, look at the RV park. It's empty. Do, I know. Do, yeah. The only RVs are our RV, and that's kind of embarrassing. So I was thinking, you know what? Let's bite the bullet. Let's spend the money today. We're getting some interior storage. That's the first thing I want to do. Okay. You're paying for it? Of course I'm paying for it. I pay for everything. All right. That's true. Yeah. I was going to say, boss man, business isn't looking too good. We don't have any customers. All right, boss man. I'm going to get started here. All right. Just going to maybe mark out the area. Yeah. Spray some spray paint on the corners. You want me to, you know, kind of square it off. Yeah. Do the best you can. Try making this as straight as possible. Don't want this building sideways. What is this listed for sale? You guys had the price hidden. Hit me with it. How much? 55000 Wow. Okay. A little more than I thought. Have to be honest. All right. Test drive. Let's get on it a little bit. It's got some power. Sounds mean for sure. For these newer models, they don't sound as, as good as they did when they were, you know, kind of older trucks. But I think the previous owner did something to the exhaust maybe a tune all right man 50 is all you can do let's shake on it that works here's a fifty thousand dollar check for you sir pleasure doing business with you hey 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 look at it boss fans got it built that's awesome let's here i'm gonna pull in the truck will sound good in here he's man slow down a bit check it out man i love your truck do you like this building yeah no this building's awesome nice very nice building. You already got the electrical in here. You got to work on the outlets, but the lights are in. Two doors pull in and out. Awesome. Yes, sir. So I'm going to go take your truck. What? Uh, you start making this place look pretty. That's my baby truck. Oh, don't worry, man. It, it's going it, to... I'll take care of it. Not sure what boss man's doing with my truck, but it sounds like he's going to be doing something nice. Maybe some new tires. That would be awesome. I'm going to get some rocks spread around here with the skid steer. Just got done connecting the last light, and I think I'm done for now, at least. Holy biscuits. Do you, do you like it? I think I it's a, louder. I did a few changes. Yeah. It, it is louder. You know, man, it needed some improvements, so I improved it. Absolutely, dude. I thought you were a random guy pulling in. This is awesome. Yeah, man, this is going to be a lot more practical. You can do a lot more with this thing, obviously. The better bed back here and everything. It's Everything is going to be so much more usable. Yeah, yeah. I was, got some power. I was kind of thinking, do I have a flatbed or not? You already had a flatbed. Boxes are nice, but then they aren't. So we still obviously got the crew cab. So you repainted it. Is this the Chevy Race Red? Man, it is. You know your colors. I do. And then you put the electric steps in. And you lifted it quite a bit. Bigger wheels. Those are big tires and rims. Yeah, man, I want you to be able to pull anything that these need to pull, uh, like we need pulled. So, yeah, this should be able to do the trick. Yeah, put a new exhaust tip on. You even put a snow plow mount in the front. And then, smart, you did the ranch hand in front because we got a lot of deer around here. A lot of people have been, you know, hitting deer in the dark going down the highway. Pretty dangerous, so it wrecks your truck. But if you have the bumper in front, it saves your truck and hopefully you. Yeah, so you're happy with it? Absolutely, man. Super happy. Are you happy with what I did here? I think it looks good. Yeah, man, I like it. Nice, simple, sweet, just, you know, exactly what we're looking for. And obviously, like, this gives us the ability to still expand out. I'm thinking, you know, in the future when we keep going, we'll head out kind of this way, make another, like, road. Okay. And have it branch off a few places. Absolutely. Super nice stores. And, yeah, we're going to start selling this by the square foot. Price per square foot of storing it here all year round. We'll have winter deals, stuff like that. So this should be a good money maker. And we have all this more land to go but boss man i know you're telling me the other day it's springtime we got to get this stuff planted yeah we do we are behind schedule with that so in order to make money we gotta get to work all right i'll follow you what's the plan we got some new equipment man oh nice we're going big so boss man and i kind of made the decision we aren't going to be doing any more alfalfa bales or any hay so we sold all the hay equipment and we're going to turn everything over to row crop so he actually talked about getting rid of this 6r and i think we're going to trade up for it but i don't i don't know what tractor 
Boss man, is this the new equipment here? Yes, sir, and the new tractor that's going to be traded in for what you're currently driving. Oh, we're getting a 9RX? Yes, sir. Holy biscuits. What model is it? Let's see. They make a bunch of different engine horsepower, 96 to 1. Oh, this is the highest one. All right, let's race, but don't hurt any of the equipment. Here, I'll, screw it. I'm not racing you, man. Ah, uh, someone's scared. I see. No worries. I am a little scared. You're in a 9RX. I'm in an 8RX. You should beat me. So this tractor is going to be our planning tractor, and then the 9RX is going to be like our heavy tool and you know kind of that it we might use it as a grain cart for a little bit too but this will be our planner all right big cat i'm filling up with seed from the tadpole why don't you go and grab another planner honestly all right well i'll go get it Pulled a night shift at the fire department, and we gotta head back, help out boss man. Sounds like he's got a lot of work for us today, so let's get to work. Uh-oh, Buster's in the neighbor's yard again. Buster, get over here, mister. Here, let's get his food out. Whenever I put his food out, he comes a-running. Buster, watch out for cars. There you go, boy. Come on, get your food. Here we go, good boy. Stay out of the neighbor's yard, okay? I don't want to catch you over there again. How was it sleeping in the RV without me? Oh, it was amazing. Didn't have to hear you snoring or anything. Do I snore that bad? Yeah, you do. Turn around and look at the park. It looks really basic, right? Yeah, Just pretty basic. Just extremely basic, nothing really going on. I want to add a nice entrance area. Like, obviously, we have this, like, little security guy, but we don't even have a gate here. So I'm thinking we'll have a nighttime gate right here, you know, just to completely block off the park. And then from there, we'll add like a little building here, maybe just, you know, like someone who's going to be working more full time. And then some guest parking over this way, which means we will need to take no, out the basketball not court. The basketball yeah. hoop. I have some plans for that. It's going to be in the future, but it, it will be gone for a while. So don't worry about it. It, it will make a return. We got to get to work. So help me get this basketball hoop down. All right. You got a chainsaw? What? We're not breaking it. Here we go. We Chain just gotta yeah, we'll just move it. All right, let's keep the basketball hoop here for now. That looks good. And then, yeah, you let's just keep going, man. All right. I think what we should do now is get this first little gate installed. So help me build this thing. All right, will do. There we go. This this gate is pretty good. It was pretty cheap to install. Bossman and I knocked it out. It's got a little squeak to it. So I got to spray some WD-40 in, like, one of the bearings. Oh, somebody's... What the heck? Somebody's pulling in. Hey, hey, man. One sec. Hold it here. Pull in. Let's get you off the road. All right. You got eight stalls, nine stalls to choose from. Those range from... Those are $100 a day. And then if you want some actual roof over your head, that's $250 a night for our shed there. We just built that. You got water, sewer, and electrical hookup. So you're all set. All right, man. You're staying four nights. And you're going to... Okay. Outside. Perfect. That's $400. Thank you. Go ahead. Get hooked up. My plan is now I got to take out the basketball court that we built. Don't worry. It's really thin concrete. I'm going to turn it all to dirt. And then this is going to be kind of where we build out a shed, office area, whatever you want to call it. Hey, man, does this work for you? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking, honestly, just tear up all around here, too. Get it nice and wide. Just rip up all that soil. Get it nice and loose for us. Okay. But we have a new customer. Yep. He just pulled in and he mentioned that it was he's coming for a convention that starts tomorrow morning. The convention? And he's like, what convention is that going to be? I don't actually, I, I didn't ask. That was my bad. I'll maybe I'll run over there and ask him, see if he needs anything. But he also said that he couldn't find a hotel and he was really surprised that we had spots open. And I'm like, what are you talking about? So anyway, uh, he's like, this yeah, sounds like it's going to be a big convention. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Well, let's make sure we get this work done then before we have a flood of people. If look, Look, Sounds like that's what's going to happen. Let me work on this. Go talk to him, get more information. And then, yeah, if if he's right, we got to kind of like get everything situated. Okay. Nice job, man. Got that nice and clean. And I did talk to the guy. He was telling me that it's a farm show that's heading to town. So there's going to be a lot of people. And we definitely should have been prepared for this. Okay. Well, uh, let's just keep working then. Put our heads down. Let's go. Let's see you open up, boss man. Nice. Hello. Check this out. It's basic right now, but I was thinking we install a desk in here. Maybe some plants. Maybe, no, that's uh, great. That's great. You know, whatever we can find. Nice job, dude. Maybe this window slides open too in the future, but great job, boss man. Yeah, some sort of desk. This is going to be your office, I'm thinking. Somebody pulls in. They got to stop right here. That way we get them off the road. Yes, sir. It should be good, but... Man, do you have your paintbrush? Because we got to get these lines done for the parking spots. Yep. Let's knock that out. And then hopefully people start showing up. The guy said they should be here. Somebody's pulling in. Good thing we got the door open. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Shed's built. And then we build out these parking spots in the meantime. 
Oh, howdy, ma'am. Welcome on in. This is an awesome boss. You converted it. Here you go. Perfect. Sign those. How many days are you staying? Four. All right. It'll be 400 unless you... Okay. Yeah. You're going to stay in the open parking spots. Okay. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get the gate open for her. Go ahead and pull on in. Thanks for coming. So she's she converted that school bus into like, you know, you can camp in it. And ten, she It's a work in progress, but she, she is here also for the farm show. So really cool. Another $400. What in tarnation? I was working on the shed and I heard a tractor coming down the road. This is a farm show. Jeez, everybody's here for the farm show. All right, how many nights? Four? Okay, perfect. So just sign that there, and then it'll be $400 for four nights. Yep, you get electrical, water hookup, and sewer. Perfect. I'll open the gate. Thanks for staying with us. I'm thinking Bossman and I maybe could ask her a few questions so we can figure out how to farm. But in the meantime, I put some postcards here that we can sell. I got a desk and a chair. So the office is coming together, obviously not finished. Bossman and I installed the parking meters here so people can pay to park. Little plants, nice accent piece. I think that came together really, really good. And then here is our finished product for the electrical hookup. Water and sewer down there below. So everybody's ready to go. The place is filling up. This is awesome. And it's really cool to see all the different vehicles. You have this RV, a bit older RV for sure. A bus all fixed up. And then a lady came in with her tractor. That is awesome. Biscuits and gravy. Holy biscuits. Okay, man, I'll help you. Swing wider. You're going to have to swing a bit wider. No, wider. Okay, no, actually, you're right. Okay, now all the way wide. You almost did hit that pole. Good catch. I don't know if you're going to make it, man. Stay wide. Stay wide. Stay wide. Stay wide. All right, crank it. All right, go ahead. Keep pulling forward. We want to make sure you don't hit the fence. You're good. All right, here. Come to my office. We got to talk a little bit. All right, man. Obviously, you're going to be taking up quite a bit more room, using more power and electricity. So I'm going to have to charge you typically to 100 a night. You're going to be 150 a night. And how many nights are you staying? Four nights, that'll be $600, please. Perfect. Thank you very much. You're here for the farm show as well. It looks like you're a big case guy, huh? Well, your neighbor is going to be a, a, a nice farmer lady that pulled in with a case age tractor pulling her camper. So you'll have something to talk about. Jump in. I'll escort you to your parking spot. This is going to be crazy, guys. I don't even know if that thing's going to be able to fit in here, but we'll make it work. I'm going to make him go all the way on the end. Well, I did say his neighbor would be the, the lady with the case age tractor. All right, he's going to the end. Screw it. That thing is a behemoth. It's like a triple decker. How does he go underneath a bridge? There's no way. And it's not even like oversized load. This is crazy. All right, man, crank it. You better be good at driving that thing. There we go. All right, he's actually pretty good. He's getting squared away. I don't even know what to tell him. He's got it. Look on the inside. There's stairs. This is like a, a luxury house on wheels, you'd call it. It's on like a semi-trailer, which is pretty cool. You're a little, little crooked, man, but it should be good. We, we're going to have to disconnect your truck, too, because it'll be poking out too far. All right, man. Give me a tour. This is awesome. The stairs come out. I was wondering where those were. A flat screen curved TV. Look at the sunlight. You literally have a window on the roof. Look at this. He's got a bed up here. All these windows open and close. Oh, you can haul stuff. Oh, man, you should have brought a golf cart or a razor. That is cool, guys. I need to get one of these here, but I'm sure it's not cheap. Well, I got a lot done. I think the place is done for now. For now, at least for today. While I was working, we had a pink Ford Overlander and then a Tiffin Motorhome pull in. Those guys, again, another four days. So $800 total there. Awesome. Put some benches, trash cans, people. A lot of times when people pull in, they park right here real quick, get everything situated, get it ready, or when they're leaving. So they can throw away all their trash, sit down, have something to eat. And then we have like official, you know, play chess, meet people who are camping with you. So also you can eat your own food out here, just hang out, chill, parking spots. So I think the place came together pretty good. It's a little tight. It is a little tight, but people got to be good drivers. We have some extra fuel on hand as well right here, just in case we charge really, really high prices for that, though. And then like a bunch of little stuff if people need propane, a spirit generator for us or for somebody if there's broke down. All right, man, you're here for the farm show, I'm guessing. You're bringing that in? Okay. All right. Does this thing even tow it? What the heck? What is this, an old ice cream truck towing a huge trailer and a piece of equipment that thing's crazy but anyway it's 100 bucks a night you're staying for four nights that'll be 400 dollars, please thank you very much sir and there we go so we have one spot open left which is awesome but there's one thing about business is you always plan for a big day so you never want to have any you, you never want to have the place full is what i'm saying so we'll always build more spots until there's always one left for today that should be good he's getting situated down there the place is packed in the past six years, I went from a worn out limo and zero dollars in the bank to owning many businesses worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is just the start of my challenge to become a millionaire.